ever created. It can be wonderful if you have smart people, but we have people that are stupid. The American dream is dead, dead, dead. But if I get elected president, God, I've tried so hard. <laughs> I just belong to some other age, I guess. You know, humans don't communicate anymore, or they, they gibber and jabber about stuff that doesn't matter, and then they send a text message and never communicate with anybody about anything of substance. It's spiritual death. And then I just come to the realization out of trillions of worlds, we're gonna probably die. And everything we did as a species and all of our beauty and all of our goodness will just fail. And we're gonna go down the tubes because a bunch of inbred child molesters in Hollywood had some psychotic dream that they wanted to kill everybody. You know, humanity just has to fall. It has, civilization has to fall. It just has to go down. And you know it's gonna go down too. And I just have been a fool trying to prop it up. It's just at a certain point, you're like, God Almighty, this is what death looks like. This is what laziness looks like. No one has the instinct or the will to execute anything real. They only execute failure. I want to be loved by CNN, even though I don't watch it. We have total illegal censorship going on. We have them bragging about it. We have them dead to rights. No one will attack. No one wants to do it. Never took action when all the tools were right there in our hands because we weren't meant to. We couldn't do it. We didn't want it. I give my children fish oil every day. They love it. It's really good for them. Shaka News, the longest intro we've ever had. Jose, Jose, <laughs> Thursday night. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. Thank you for having me here today on this wonderful podcast. Oh, you got your glasses yeah. on and everything else. I want some glasses. Oh, yeah, on I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. I just came from the beach. You know, I'm out there getting that bread. You know, you already know what's up. Moment, one of the Matrix. You know, I only, for, drink, uh, I only drink, uh, you know, uh, Fiji water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except yeah. when I'm in Fiji. That's the only time I don't drink Fiji water. When I'm in Fiji, I like to drink uh, water from Flint, Michigan. Yeah, I love these class. <laughs> what? They are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the glass. I have, I have them imported in. I have them bring it in for me. Right. I mean, I like mine too now. I mean, like, literally, it's, these glasses are great. Hope my character's mouth is moving. It doesn't look like it is. Let me try to figure that out. One second. There we oh, go. Oh, it's not moving. It's probably full. It probably has something in it. Oh. 
Yeah. All right, everybody, welcome in. Sorry for uh, being late. Complicated business. Where it's currently eight thirteen p.m. Central Time, and we like to start around eight o'clock Central, nine p.m. Eastern, Tuesday, Thursday nights. We got quite yeah. a show for you tonight. There's been a lot of breaking news. I mean, we were Jose, if you recall, we set ourselves up on Tuesday, I think it was, to talk about like an ideal system of government, and then maybe how to get there. So even if it's anarchy, then how would you? walk your steps to get there so we yeah. might yet do that it's sort of on the back burner because there's just been so much b -b -b breaking news what do i have a Bruh. cd player or something like that like right under oh my... sorry the fuck is that? Well, that's my sound uh system that gets me the matt beasley sound effects yeah i don't even understand bro uh -huh. Bruh. like this Bruh. exactly <clears throat> Interesting. So, how how have you been? How was uh, your Bruh. Wednesday? Good, except it's like you gotta understand. I guess you don't have to understand anything, man. You know no, I don't have to understand, but I'm gonna try. All right. I'm gonna pretend. I'm gonna pretend. To well, understand. see, like this weekend, I'm going directly. My God, my character is like all twisted up. Character, come on. Okay. You right this there? week, yeah, this weekend, I'm going first to tomorrow night. I have a six-hour drive into Wisconsin. Check oh, into check into a some, check into get some cheese. No, but I'm gonna check into a hotel, and then I meet with my I meet at the trailer park. I go. Oh, to the, oh you're gonna go meet with your cheese dealer? Got it. No, I go directly to the trailer park, <laughs> and then not directly. Actually, I stay in a hotel. I'm not going to stay at the trailer park, and then and not that I have anything against hours. it. So you're driving six hours. It'd just be a little bit weird. Oh, what's this guy say, by the way? Media lies matter. Yes, they do. And I do have something to say about this real quick. A point nobody is making. And Jose, have you heard about this Facebook whistleblower? Yes. So, oh, and, fake. Super fake. Super fucking, super oh, fucking CIA agent. No, I mean, just totally propped up by the same lawyers of the Democrats, like famous Democrat lawyer. Yeah. And he's actually taking, um, what's it called when you like do consulting with the Democrat? Like, in other words, one of their, uh, one of their people are, is training her on what to do next. It's like literally like a position type person who's like recommending, here's what oh, you yeah, should I do saw, next. Yeah, because I saw, I actually saw the interview, mm -hmm. you know, 60 minutes interview when I was watching, I was like, bro, this is so like fucking like, manufactured. Yeah. You know? and, ob and here's my point on it. Cause obviously, obviously she's a snake for more restrictive speech and more right. mainstream media, like, create their monopolies, get them back on even more on top, you know, help them restrict the web so that anywhere you interact on the web, it's just like fake news is everywhere and you can't find anybody having a different opinion. Yeah, than I that. mean, basically, yeah. But, what I got from the interview was like, Oh, all across the world, every country, every nation uses Facebook, you know, for their political, you know, blah, 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 you know, manipulation. So what we're going to do is that we want to make it so that it's easier for them to manipulate it. I'm like, bro, what the, and, huh? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? By censoring people but, from telling the truth. Look, like, what? Yes, I agree with all that. But let me just say my quick opinion on, uh, and it's real short here, because I set it up perfect. <laughs> the fact that she is being talked about and discussed, she's such an obvious snake and tool of one Democratic Party. The fact that she's being even discussed shows how broken our media system is if it was really her credibility should be so much it is so little and her links to the democratic dnc and all this she should be just discredited entirely on any of her opinions or thoughts on the matter she's a comp she's clearly a political actor the same way that the trump dossier was like it was evidenced in 2017 or something that it was like, oh wow, this truly nobody can dispute it. It was paid for through, um, you know, whoever to get to the Russian agent guy, um, basically paid for directly from the DNC. As soon as it's clear, it becomes opposition research. You know what the mainstream media would do if it was the shoe was on the other foot, and suddenly, oh, it's clearly a Republican linked type thing. Oh, it's a political hit job. I mean, it's probably all fake. We can't take anything serious. I mean. Credibility has to be thrown in on tubes, and now everything, it, you know, might as well just assume it's false. But of course, no, it wasn't. The dossier wasn't, con dossiers, we were supposed to all go, but is it true? Oh, I mean, could there, I mean, just because it's politically driven doesn't mean it's not true. 
Ra Rachel Maddow goes, just because it can be used as blackmail, even if it isn't true, was her quote. And now this political hit job on Facebook to make it more restrictive speech clearly political ties to the DNC, and yet everybody's talking about it, and we have to take it seriously because they might actually use her to manip like to actually force Facebook into doing something as an excuse, a clear and obvious excuse. It, or you don't have the hood over your eyes, you might you obviously can see what's what they're using her for, and we all have to take her seriously because that's just how broken the system is that direction. And we're a bun we're around a bunch of sheep that continue to vote for these clowns who push these agendas through obvious, obvious um I don't even know what you call it. I mean, like, it's not even clever. So, you agree? Yeah, in fact, did you see, speaking of which, did you see uh, Ted Nugent? What he, uh, like, uh, what he had to say about that? No, what did he say? Oh, you should just look up uh, Ted Nugent. Play it. You should just play. Uh, you know, what? I think, yeah, whatever the fuck he, I don't know where All he right, was All right, I'll on find it on Twitter. Or... Give me a second here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just find it real quick. I think it'll be perfect uh, to what you were just saying there. But, uh, but yeah, man, no, you I mean, you're right, man. You're a hundred percent. Like this whole fucking thing is And just, that's why it's uh, so f stressful for people like, not stressful, but it's frustrating for people like you and you even more than me. Cause you've been doing it for so long, but for, and for every one of us out there that actually pays attention to things to see how obvious and how clear it should be to the people, to other people. And for some reason, either they don't want to believe it. Maybe they benefit from it, like from Democrats themselves or something. <laughs> They should really, it's just, uh, it's frustrating because of how obvious it is. And yet here we are again in the swing of it. Okay. Ted Nugent. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what channel he was on. Or... That's okay. I'll find it on Probably Fox. <laughs> there he is right here. 29 yeah. seconds. Let's listen. Yes. Would you speak to the people who believe it is a worthwhile vaccine and it is saving lives? Are they just dead wrong? Are they been fed a fed a line from the federal government? Jim, I appreciate the opportunity to speak to the people that went ahead and got the jab. I speak their language. I would speak to them thusly. Bah, bah, <laughs> bah, bah. They understand that. Well, so all these millions of people that got the shots, they're just stupid? Yep. Would you speak to the people? <laughs> wow. I did not see that. That is pretty funny. <laughs> and so he's the best, bro. He's fucking awesome. You don't give a fuck, you know? <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> Hold on. I speak to the people. I know their language. <laughs> that is funny. He's a hunter, bro. He knows how to speak to animals, you know? <laughs> uh, let's look at the commenters. They're rolling in. Ted said that the vaccine is safe. Have a nice day. Oh, I don't know. He said something more than that. Opie's down. He doesn't like Ted Newton, I get Or Ted Nugent. Welcome to the flu world order. That's coming in from <laughs> Freedom Matters. That's right. Anthony says the media plays the same games over and over. Why? It's working. Disgusting, but effective. Yeah, well, it's working because... It just shows... How clear of a victory they have. I mean, they do victory formation in the first quarter and they get away with it. It's like the refs, nobody's checking them and nobody questions about, well, why, why, don't they, why can they do that? And meanwhile, for people like us, we're watching it and we're like, okay, it's clearly a political hit job. <laughs> but you know why they and can do it? They're going to use it effectively all the way to the finish line of their end goal. But yeah, I mean, you know why they can do it, right? Because... You know, nobody stops them. It's as simple as that. People did on January 6th. <laughs> no. Seems like you stop them. This about... <clears throat> I mean, Anyways. according to, to the Latin latest... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry. I had a little pubic hair stuck in my... Anyway, so, um, so you know, according to, like, the latest uh, reports, you know... Uh, Basically, uh, they're, you know, we already know they're spying on everybody, but if you um, search for certain words or certain terms, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they got you on a special list out there and they're, uh, they're keeping tabs on you. Oh, yeah, I remember that for the school council meetings that they're doing. They're, they listed, I don't even want to talk about that, but 
I mean, seriously, we're getting really deep into American politics at the front end of the show, which was not the plan. We're going to start talking about Twitch in one second. In fact, let's just do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like one second later. See? I don't want to talk about the school Hard board. Turn. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> let's go Let me to Twitch. Pull up the clip. And in the meantime. By the way, I can't find you. I can't find us on Discord. I mean, on Discord. On uh, DLive. Oh, wait. There's a, there's a link. Oh, there we go. Man, it's like you're, we're almost like impossible to find them. Do you like? Wonder why. Previous page. How's it going, Freedom Matters? I see you out there. You know him? <laughs> no, I don't. He says lame stream, fake stream. I don't know if he's talking about us. No, he's oh, talking yeah. about the mainstream media. Probably. Oh, yeah, lame stream, fake stream. That's right. But we are pretty lame stream sometimes. Not us. You know, we got a lame. Urination stream. Need to get a prostate check. Bruh. <laughs> All right. The entire. That's why, I got little, that's why I got a little piece of bread next to my. Right. Uh, the my entire. Universe. Here's how the story goes. This happened Tuesday night or Wednesday. <clears throat> the entirety of Twitch has reportedly been leaked. Source oh, codes. Oh, no. What Did happened? The, this I, is I didn't know that was I didn't know that was like a phrase that you used when you leaked something from it a website. From the leak. No, like the entirety. Apparently that's a term that hackers use. I didn't know that, but I've been reading up on this and apparently that's all the data or something. Like I we'll see. Yeah, no, yeah, this is really bad. Really, really bad. This is everybody's data, complete data. Everyone that's ever had any account on Twitch, any kind of information given to Twitch. Hackers got it, and you already know that means that they're going to start accessing all your other shit. So that's why you got to get a password manager. I've been meaning to get a password manager. I just, I just haven't had the time, and now I'm going to see. I'm going to get that tomorrow. So, yeah, basically, you already know what that is. It's just basically a, a thing that, you know, gets, like, really complex passwords to all of your, uh, you know, stuff, and it's, like, different passwords for everything. So no one, even if you get hacked, they can only, like, access one thing maybe, and that's it. You know, if they even hack you, you know, even if they're able. All right. All right. Let's read it. <clears throat> but I mean, it's important because if you, for example, you had a password manager, you're not worried about this. You know what I mean, um, you know, really, you know, I mean, because the data is always stolen, you know, basically all of your, everyone already has their data stolen at some point, but with this, it's, uh, it's a little different because this is like a major, you get what I'm saying? This is like Twitch. Wait, a lot of people. Anthony, yeah. and we got the live. They might know more than us on this one. One second. What was it again? I said the live commenters are coming in and helping us. It says, Anthony, it's not data, but it will give you access to everything. Interesting. Mr. Lodek says, look at Hanson learning new words from the dictionary. Oh. <laughs> Anthony goes, source code equals the programming stuff needed to make the app work. Freedom goes, sorry, I meant the... Um, California, yeah, California. Anybody here? Yeah, what, what is it? Is anybody that, here? But is that what they? But is that let's, what they took? Yeah, let's the, read. Let's let's learn together. No, but is that what they took? The source code it doesn't make sense. No, I think they took the data. Well, right? we're going to talk about how much money they make next. But I just want to get so that we lay it down for everybody. Here it is. And I know they used eight chan. No, four chan. Okay, an anonymous Wait, hacker. Sixteen chan. Thirty-two chan. Hut hut. An anonymous hacker claims to have leaked the entirety of Twitch including its source code and user payout information. A user posted a 125 gigabyte torrent link to 4chan on Wednesday, stating that the leak was intended to foster more disruption and competition in the online video streaming space because their community is disgusting, toxic cesspool. Um, oh boy. VGC, which is Video Game Chronicle, can verify that the files mentioned in the 4chan are publicly available to download as described by the anonymous hacker. One anonymous company uh, told uh, BGC that the leaked data is legitimate. That's true. Amazon came out and said it was true. Otherwise, we wouldn't. Oh, no. It. Yeah, this is. No, yeah, for sure. Um, it makes sense. You know, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff going on in those communities. Uh, you know, why they did this and how you know look at the end of the day it's like everyone should be careful because all your information is out there um but they're targeting a certain group of people you know what i mean i don't know if, you know what i'm saying like basically you would like target the, no you wouldn't i don't think so i think they just did this because 
No, they are. Amazon they must have neglected to put out Dude, the just, proper just, just, security listen, around listen. their purchased Twitch, and they they can't do but this dude, you just read it right there what are you talking about like for real there's a lot of nerds out there that have a little bit of a vendetta with like some of these twitch thoughts you know that are just you know kind of like shake their boobs and they play a whatever Ooh. video game and they get like a, a million streamers and uh, the million dollars and uh, and so yeah the nerds fucking you know they, they well they look at the most them, you know you know what i'm saying and so like they, they, no, they openly you, talk you're about miscalculating this i mean these hackers they're not incels so they don't no, have they mean, don't have any trouble with women I mean, making a lot of money. And secondly, and secondly, and secondly, we'll look at the list because we have it mm -hmm. next. And Jose, you'd be surprised. A bunch of guys at the top, I believe. I mean, we'll look yeah. and we'll confirm. But it's a bunch of guys at the top. So no, I mean, Twitch isn't famous for just having women with tits out playing games. Even though maybe it is famous actually, <laughs> but it's not solely that. Okay. I I I, I agree. One anonymous right. company, no, 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 internally, Twitch is aware of the breach, the source said, and it's believed that the data was obtained as recently as Monday, and Twitch has not put out a comment yet. Twitch has confirmed the leak is authentic. We can confirm a breach has taken place. Our teams are working with urgency to understand the extent of this. We will update the community as soon as additional information is available. Thank you for bearing with us. The leak data reportedly includes the entirety of Twitch's source code, with com uh, with commit history going back to our early beginnings, so all of the source code, creator payout reports from 2019, mobile desktop and console Twitch clients, propriety SDK oh, and internal says, AWS is AOC on that list. Yeah, she is. They got AOC's info too. Oh, I didn't look into that. Can you Google like what they found on well, her? Yeah, but she has a fucking account. Yeah, yeah I would so like to know how much they made during those streams. I'd like we'll to find know. out. Okay. We'll just keep looking. Propriety SDKs and internal AWS, <laughs> that's Amazon Web, Web Service Software, services used by Twitch, and quote, every other property that Twitch owns. An, un an unreleased Steam competitor codenamed Vapor from Amazon Game Studios and a Twitch internal red teaming tools designed to improve security by having the staff pretend to be hackers. Interesting. No, I mean, you know, this could also be the competition. You Some I mean? the competition. Yeah, 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 for sure. Some Twitter yeah, it, users... It looks like, I mean, you know... It could be very professional hackers from another country or China trying to create a little bit of a stir. I mean, that's totally possible, I mean, look, too. From the, from, from the beginning, you know, they were saying that the reason they wanted to do this is because... You know, they wanted to like kind of, you know, not destroy Twitch, but like, you know, kind of, you know, uh, well, oh, yeah, please. Fuck, they can say anything on Twitch, the they do, on 4chan. They could say anything on 4chan. No, matter. I know, I know. But, the you know, but again, to fuck up Twitch in order to prop up other platforms, you know what I mean? That offer the same kind Twitch of service. Which is one of the, so, which is one of yeah, the smallest, least <clears throat> restrictive platforms out there. I mean, if they wanted to do that, they should really pick better targets. And we're pretty into this Internet thing. And Twitch is not a problem. Well, yes and no. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, they block certain things. They do. I mean, they do block music when I play it on there. I mean, it's what? okay. It's not. Their Twitch is awesome. I love Twitch, but it's there are better. There are more less. There are less restrictive platforms out there. And for Anth sure. Anthony is totally right. I'm glad Anthony in the live chat brought this up. He says an inside job. Totally possible that a yeah. competitor like D Live, and I'm not. I would never accuse D Live. Yeah, but they're small potatoes, but definitely. But DLive could be could pay um, yes, somebody. Yes. I mean, these companies, it is warfare at the top. So yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Yes, one hundred percent. Some Twitter users have started making their way through the hundred twenty-five gigabyte. Oh, I'm sure it's the Twitter users. Oh yeah, the Twitter users have started making their way through the hundred twenty-five gigabyte. Most Twitter users have the IQ of about a potato. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> that might be like the lowest IQ platform that's out there. It's pretty fun sometimes, but it also, trust me, it's not them piecing through anything. If anything, it's them going to Reddit and figuring out what the true uh, dedicated internet people have sifted through and then posting it to their 1,000 other potato heads. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's true. <laughs> I, I swear, I think... Twitter might be have less 
<clears throat> what do you call it? Like just IQ or smart, smarts. Then um, Facebook. Facebook has what they what Facebook has going for it is it has a bunch of experience on there, a bunch of boomers walking around, and they can tell you what to do with because uh, they've pretty much seen most of it, except for technology wise. But they've pretty much seen most of it, so they can tell you what to do with you know that carburetor that keeps shaking on your vehicle. <laughs> Okay, see, you say fancy. So, I think Jose is speaking to his wife. No, I was speaking to the little fairy that flies around here. Oh, very good. Give the little fairy, right? Yeah. You can show them the little fairy. If you okay, want. one second. She was just, uh, the little fairy was asking me, why was I drinking Fiji water? I'm broke. And I'm like, I ain't broke. I'm rich. All right. Okay, anyways, back to the cognitive dissonance of that Twitter users, okay? Some Twitter users have started making their way through the 125 gigabytes of data that has been leaked. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a lot of data. <laughs> one claiming that the torrent also includes encrypted passwords, and one, recommended, uh, and mm. one recommending that users enable two-factor authentication to be safe. Oh, yeah, one recommended that. Yes, yeah, so if all of a sudden you get like some things and say, hey, someone's trying to change your password on Twitch or Twitter. Yeah, you already know. It's AOC. If you have a Twitch account, it's recommended that you also turn on two factor authentication. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Okay. The torrent also reportedly includes Unity code for a game called Vape World, which appears to be a chat software based on Amazon's unreleased Steam competitor, Vapor. Ah, cool. So some upcoming software that hasn't yet been released was hacked. Meanwhile, Vapor, the code named for an alleged in-development Steam competitor, is claimed to integrate many of Twitch's features into a bespoke <clears throat> game store. Finally, the leaked documents allegedly show the popular streamers such as Shroud, Nick Merckx, and Dr. Lupu have earned millions while working with the popular streaming platform. What it doesn't include is the money the streamers have earned outside of Twitch, including merchandise, sponsorship, YouTube, external donations. Despite this caveat, the list shows that 81 Twitch streamers have been paid more than $1 million since 2019. That kind of hops us into the list. And we'll pass on that for right now. The anonymous leaker has stated that this is just the first part of the content to be leaked, but hasn't stated what they also plan to release. That's right. The leak was called part one. Oh. There you go. Twitch has, just like how when, uh, like on January, like you just do that though. If you're trying to mess with somebody, you name it part one. Heck, maybe they'll offer a payout for you. Just not to release part two, which doesn't even exist. <laughs> I heard January 6th was part one. That's right. You're planning part two. Oh. <clears throat> you're not. You're yeah, not. No. Twitch has regularly found itself under fire from creators who feel that the site doesn't take enough action against problematic members of the Twitch community. Oh, please. Oh, the trolls are too big of a deal on Twitch? No. No. So this is a call for more censorship. Yes, more censorship. They're like, you know how they got rid of Nick Fuentes on... I mean, that, that was like the biggest thing. I've only heard of Twitch banning one person, and it was Nick Fuentes. Alex Jones, too. I think. I don't know if he was a big Twitcher, but... <laughs> they would have banned him, and they would ban him if he tried to log I don't on. think he was on Twitch, no. Last, can you imagine him on Twitch? He, he should, should be go on, on Twitch. There. He's fucking live all the time. Yeah, last month, a group of Twitch streamers called on other channels and viewers to boycott the site for 24 hours as a response to hate raids. Hey, I think we could use one of those hate raids right now. How would you like it? 100 people come in right now and start watching us. Jose, would you complain about, oh, they're hating on us? No. They're calling us too blue. <laughs> But I've had that before. I've had like a bunch of, uh, you know, like just all of a sudden, like I'm doing the, uh, like a live stream and I'll have like a, like a fucking like 60, 100 people, hundreds of people just come into the room real quick and then leave. And hate on you? 
No, just come in and leave. Come in, hang out, leave. Weird. Oh, that's called a raid on Twitch. See, I'm telling you, Twitch is so... You don't understand how great Twitch is compared to YouTube. Seriously. It's so No, it's much awesome. Better. I use it all the time. I concur. Like, what you can do... Imagine if we had... Like, we do have at the very end... This is why, seriously... I hate to tell you guys this, but I know... No, but like, it's okay, but you, you can tell us, don't you? Okay, we got, we got viewers on YouTube. We would much rather have you be on Twitch. Yeah, we are for reals. We would much rather watch... I, we, all you guys that are watching on YouTube, it would be better... If, it would be awesomer if you could watch us on Twitch. Or DLive, but definitely Twitch. Yeah, because... Because that way, it'll show... First of all, the delay is less. Um, you get to have cool emojis... And it'll help us because then more people could join us because people will see that there's people watching this, like, you know, several people. And, and then, listen and then to this more too. people will join. You at, know how it is. Yeah. And at the very end of our show, when we have, let's say, seven or maybe nine people in here, what we do is we find another political Twitch streamer who is live. So you create kind of a community of other small, because a bigger channel won't care, but you, you find somebody with maybe eight viewers or maybe 30 Maybe for us, we'd find somebody with 30 viewers and we'd raid them. We basically just send our viewers as we end our show, right? It turns into their video. And then they notice and they say, whoa, hey, thanks, Shotgun News. And then their people are like, hey, who's that? So that's where the hate raid can happen. And you might have been, ra been raided one time. Somebody might have raided you and you saw a bunch of people file in. And then yes. they usually drop off real quick. But... We can't do that on YouTube. There's nobody else. Who's live right now? Fox, I mean, CNN on YouTube Plus? <laughs> what is, what is, wait, what does YouTube have again? It has YouTube memberships with, oh, you got those little emo emojis of Jank Uger and Anna Kasperian. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing, the last thing I'll say about Twitch too, before we walk over to the money that they make, is Twitch also has, um, you don't have to pay for YouTube Red to be able to, on your smartphone, go to your home and, like, as in, click out of the YouTube app. Let's say you're watching on the app, and the whole thing shuts off and you can't hear us anymore. Right. If you're on Twitch, you just click out of the, you click the home page, and the screen automatically goes to a little window where all it is is a media player with no comments, and you can adjust the size of it, and you can flip around, go into iMessage or go into your messenger and text people back. Open up. Yes, you can listen to us on Twitch live, you know, like a, like a, again, like a, in your pocket, you know, you can while just fucking... while multitasking for right. your phone to use other things. You can go hop over into Discord, start chatting with Mitch Ray's community as you listen to Shotgun News. Um, you can't watch another YouTube video, Lodex. <laughs> Lodex's still going to want to be over Mitch Ray's while he's live. No problem with that. But yeah, um, something to think about. Yeah, Twitch is much better. And uh, thank you, all of you guys, for joining us on Twitch. I see that nobody has left the YouTube channel. Not a... No one's listening. See, I, no one listens to us. Well, they can actually, like, we appreciate you guys watching wherever you watch. You, who are, you who are we to complain link? about how you can, watch us, honestly? Can you provide a link? Maybe they don't know how to get to the Twitch. Oh, it's, yeah, I'll put a link. Yeah, put a, put a link. Okay. Put a link so they can watch us on Twitch. It's like it's the same thing as watching us on YouTube, only it's on Twitch. And it's uh, better. Yeah, Blueberry's logging into Twitch. Yeah, you don't even again, you don't have to have an account or anything if you don't want to. Oh, you should probably have one so you can turn on notifications. <laughs> oh. Everybody knows we love those notifications. Like, um, I see stats, you know, on my thing in like a it's funny how I get the stats on how many people actually hit the bell icon, you know, for notifications and then how many people get it and how many people actually click on it. I think people just get the, the, the fact that they get the notification is enough because they don't maybe click on the notification, but they at least know, you know, the video is up or the, the live stream is, you know. Mm -hmm. right. So how's that link coming along, bro? You got no link? There you go. Thanks for sharing. So please subscribe to our Twitch. I mean, the hack already happened, so your data is safe. Right? Correct. Because if you just open, if you just start an account now, right? 
then you're safe. Correct. Because, you know, they're not, they can't steal data now. You know, they, they stole the data that was there before Monday. So as long as you created your account anytime after Monday, after Tuesday, I guess, you're good to go. But if you created your account before Monday, so anytime before Monday, then you're kind of fucked, like us. So thank you for joining us on Twitch. Oh, look at that. Now everybody's on Twitch. There you go. Sweet. Thanks, guys. See, thank you. And they're watching on, on YouTube. Thank you. You're, you're better. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, on Twitch, is, it's a lot better for streaming for a lot of reasons. It's just it's built for streaming. YouTube is not built for streaming. So YouTube was built for, uh, you know, people to put up their videos. You know, it was called YouTube, you know. Oh, YouTube, YouTube. used to be so cool. But, right. Not, right. Not, not so much anymore. Now it's... Uh, now it's a mainstream media too. Okay, let's look at who the most like. Let's see how much money these guys made. I and mean, we don't have to look too deep into it, but yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's look very deep. Okay. Just, Highest paid see. guy is called Critical Role. The fuck is that? Nine point six million. Google um. Wow, for streaming, huh? Nine point six million dollars since two thousand nineteen. Right. I wonder if that's like what would that be like? Is 2019? Also, earnings more than five million dollars since. Oh, so that's not a year. August 2019. So from it's it is two years, two years. August 2019 to August 2020 to August 2021, and we're just you know beyond that by a few yeah, months. Look at the so, games that they play: Overwatch, Counter Strike, Fortnite. Yeah, but it's different for them because you know we gotta play kind of shit. No, they're the big channels. You gotta work your way up. You gotta start. You can't start with anything like that. And we what, can, imagine, imagine we can play Counter Strike and just be on their stream. Okay. So we can, we can he kill looks, them multiple times. Who is this guy though? I don't get. Uh, well, anyway, so these guys make a lot of money streaming. Make a lot more than what we make. Let's just see who they are. Have you guys heard of this guy at all? They make 10 million more than we do. Yeah. No, we don't know. And none of us know who these people are. We're all, we are all boomers. Here's a, here he is. So this is, what, this is what he is. Twitch pays critical role and summit the most. We're not, we're not fans of like 18 year old yep. kids. Uh, who knows how old they are? Yeah, he looks 22. <laughs> I know Ninja used to be way up there. He was from Minnesota. Oh, right. Okay. But he, he got paid a huge bag to go over to this new Twitch like platform that was getting started. And it was like a contract that said, no matter what, you're going to get paid. And then the website about after three months closed shop and he still got paid, paid like million, tens of millions of dollars for being exclusive there for like three months. We went that. back to Twitch. I don't even know if he's working anymore. Oh, he, he, re he retired? Dude, these guys all look the same. <laughs> they all... This guy looks the exact same. What the fuck do you expect? What the hell? This guy looks like this guy. Doesn't he? Look at this. Yeah, bro. They all look like a white guy. They all look like fucking white gamers. White privileged gamers. Yeah, I guess. Where are the Asians? Hey, Asian? I'll fit right in with these guys. Hey, you would think there'd be Asians... That are really good streamers, right? All right. I mean, we're Asian looking for the first, we're looking for the top girl. Aren't Asians like the best? Okay, look at this guy. This is another guy. So he looks kind of like a, he looks a little bit more Hispanic. You know, he's for the people who are watching. He's got a, oh yeah, he wears a flat brim hat. He's got the look, look Hispanic at all. The fuck? A little bit of facial hair. He's uh, clearly of a whiter complexion. He looks like Shia LaBeouf with hair. A little bit of Mexican. Let's see what is what is his real name? Oh, look at this. His real name is Shia LaBeouf. Jared with a Y. Lazar. What's Lazar? What's the or what's the orientation on that? I don't know, bro. But he's in Hispanic. Lazar last name or oh, he's Jewish. <laughs> Take Lazarus. 
Oh yeah, see? That's Lazarus. Brad. Alright. Next person up on the list, he made two four five point two million dollars over the past twenty four months. Five point two and this does not include sponsorships, which these channels I would imagine get a lot of sponsorships. Mm-hmm. Merchandise. I mean these are the biggest guys. So five point two. They all got hacked. This guy appears to look like a Jake Paul. He's white. He's got kind of a Jake Paul haircut. Especially in his little profile picture right there. Like that looks like Jake Paul. Hey, if this if the what's the if the recipe works, don't mess with it. Yeah, that's right. It's just the same white dude over and over again, bro. It is a bunch of white dudes. It's okay. a bunch of it's like they it's almost like they were fucking uh made in a factory or something. The Nick, Twitch factory. They were made in a factory. It's called the uh the white guy factory. US culture factory. <laughs> All right. Okay. Look at this guy. Nick Murray. Yeah, I see him. They look white. Okay. This guy no, this guy looks a little more jacked. He doesn't look like a typical video gamer. He looks like a skateboarder. He looks like an asshole, actually. Yeah, he does look like an asshole. I mean, the, the other guys actually looked a little bit cooler. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This guy, I don't know about him. I mean, this is just his... Arcs. By the way, each of these guys have a huge YouTube platform, I am sure. I mean, we can click on this and figure it out. But yeah, you'd be surprised. Some of them meant so much. How many subscribers? 4.5 million. But Nick Merckx, that guy looks like, uh, that guy looks like that fucking guy, that asshole. Uh, the fuck is his name? That guy that's the, uh, remember, what's the, the guy that is the friend of Joe Rogan? Um, the MMA guy, the failed MMA guy. He's like a comic, but he sucks. He's like a muscle guy. Oh, dude, this guy is a muscle guy. Look at his top. He's got Under Armour as his sponsor. Seat Geek as his sponsor. This is a sports guy. Scuff Gamey. Nick Merckx. Hmm. Okay. He does look... I mean, this guy is probably... Brendan Schaub. He looks like Brendan Schaub. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he does. Another douche. Nice. No, I mean, he, I mean, he's probably not a douche, but he looks like Brendan Schaub. Yeah. Next person, Ludwig. The T feud does look like a douche. Nick Merckx, he just, he looks like Brendan Schaub. I don't know if he's, he's whatever. Like L- Ludwig. Ludwig. <laughs> Let's see. He's, I mean, his, his wiki says he's an American YouTuber and a Twitch. Lodak says, why are we looking at the top 10 gay lists? <laughs> yeah, I seriously. He's 26 years old. Ludwig. Um, who cares? I guess we've seen enough. Oh, we're looking for the top female. Oh, look at this. Tim the Tatman. Is that you? No, but he's, his name's Tim. That is you. Tim the Catman. Tatman. Oh, Tatman. Damn, he's one of the biggest. Really? He's a tattoo artist and he's one of the biggest? Uh, I was not expecting that kind of guy. To it looks like if you and Matt Beasley had a baby. Looks like if Matt Beasley and pretty much anybody had a baby, that guy, I mean, if Matt Beasley could do it over again, he'd prefer to look like that guy. Okay, who's Altair? Oh, no, Altor. They spelled it wrong. Huh. Yeah, they, they probably just spelled it wrong, bro. It is Altor. Aaron order. Play, I, th- I think this would be a guy... It's all guys. It's all four. Yep, another guy. Look, he looks like all you know. Yeah, they're awesome. all guys, bro. We get it. You know what? Because all the girls are on fucking OnlyFans. Hey, I'm just proving you wrong, man. How, about, how much of the? Hey, the look, this guy girl? looks. This guy is a uh, Afghanistan or something. Hmm. His name. How much of the girls on OnlyFans, mate? So, do you think the girls? You know what? Let's let's uh look, take a look. Do you think that the girls on OnlyFans make more, way or more, less yeah. than the Twitch gamers? Way more. Do you think? I know. I don't see no fucking OnlyFans bitch making three million. Exactly, they're making a lot more. Yeah, no, no. No, they are. What the fuck is no, man? No way. Yes. We're gonna make a bet right now. Wait, let's take a poll. You know what? Do a poll. All right. All right. Hey guys, what do you guys? Do you guys think that OnlyFans girls make more 
than the guys on Twitch or YouTube. But let's just stay with Twitch. Let's stay with Twitch. Twitch, we saw 10 million, nine point whatever, whatever. But the average is like around 3 million. Okay. So, and that's every two years, right? Or what was it? Mm. Or 3 million a year. Hello? Uh, a guy makes about, a f top guy makes about $9 million over two years, 24 months. Okay. So, four and a half million a year. Top guy. And then half of that. So about one and a half to two million average, right? Yes. For the top, for the top. Sure. So what does a top girl on OnlyFans make? Really? I don't I don't think that an OnlyFans makes more than two million. Makes, no oh, way. they do, they do. And in fact, I, mean, I, I don't hey, know how to hey, do a poll. I could be I wrong. Know. I could be wrong. I could be one hundred percent wrong. But I don't know, man. Because remember, these guys are getting money from, uh, you know, they're getting money from uh, sponsors. Look they're at getting this, money man. From... What? I'm looking. Here are the top 10 earners on OnlyFans. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. How let's wrong see. am I? Pretty fucking wrong, dude. Not... Okay, good, good. let me see. Let me see. I'm curious. Let's show it. Show it. I'm just getting it pulled up, man. I got to work through my... I should be the top earners 100K. <laughs> You're not going to believe these numbers. I'm just saying because the guys have like endorsements, they have prize money, they got like all this other shit, you know what I mean? And the girls, I mean, they're just, it's, it's just their snatch. Oh my gosh. Link did not work. Oh, what happened there? Uh, thoughts, the thoughts. Why are you gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? Why you do gay? So anyways, so yeah, let's see. I mean, did you see the number already or no? Yeah. What was it? I'm just getting the article pulled up so we can... Just tell me, though. Like $10 million a month. No, No, like uh, $1 million a month. No. Yeah. yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Here, look. Top 10 celebrity <laughs> earners on OnlyFans. Bella what? Thorne is at two. Here, are they, here they are. Okay. Number 10, Jen Wolfie. Yeah, but no, I'm talking about celebrities, bro. I'm talking about regular. Does that matter? I guess we're... It doesn't matter. They're... I mean, what do you think? These guys on Twitch aren't considered celebrities? I mean, I don't know. It depends on where they made their fame. No, because it's not like Nicki Minaj there and shit, you know? What the fuck? That doesn't count. Okay. The... But whatever, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how I can... I don't know any of these bitches, How do I eliminate bro? that I'm down a, there? A million a month, bro? How do you, how do you a propose? Million, I... A million a month? Nine, well, she's number 10. $900,000 dollars a month. Megan Hansen spelt. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a competitor, bro. There was no way that these guys were like hating on these Twitch people. They were they were hating on anybody. They were just fucking hack only fans, you know? Yeah, that was just a competition, I think. Hey, look at look at this guy. He's a guy wow. and he makes 1.9 a month. 1.9 million a I'm month. Only fans. Yeah. The fuck does he do? Show yeah, I'm gonna TV. try to figure that too. Made more headlines by joining OnlyFans than he did ever for his music and reality TV career. The rapper signed up in 2020 along with his wife Erica, who is also a top earner on the platform. Mena enthusiastically promoted their jump onto not safe for work bandwagon by tweeting, "Be a fly on the wall. My husband joins me on my OnlyFans." So yeah. she, he's like a porno famous. You know, it's like, uh, sure, yeah. Samuel started sharing his amateur adult videos on the platform where fans could peek into the couple's intimate lives for only 50 bucks a month. Man, so why do people even do porn anymore, bro? Who does porn? People with no... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, why, people... would you, why, would you, why would anyone even do porn nowadays if you can just do OnlyFans? People with no name. Huh? huh? People with, like, no following. Nobody would care. It doesn't matter. You still make more. But celebrities... Are all about you know what I mean. You would still make more on OnlyFans. Uh, Opie says, "Who's that chick?" Megan Hansen. I think or I think Jordan girls these days that do porn at the end of the day, either they're doing it against their will or they're actually they they just want to do it. You know, like uh, they want to. You know what I mean? Like be exposed. Uh, I don't know. They just I don't know. It's just different now because I mean you can just make so, you can I mean so many women make so much money on just like feet pics. Yeah, you know, we're we're only we're only feet. moving up. 
Pia Maya. By the way, welcome in, Cody. Welcome in. Uh, he just got back from bowling. Get the pizza going, Cody. Get your pizza out and uh, sit back and relax and listen to us talk about the OnlyFans topper. That's right. That's right. Uh, just polish your balls, you know, so you have them ready for your next uh, bowl. <laughs> yeah. Pia Mia says, or uh, has made and makes $2.2 million a month. That's fucking nuts, bro. You can subscribe to her account free uh, for free, and she charges a modest ten dollars for her videos and pictures. But she manages to make a whopping two point two million. She's like a mini Netflix. But how? I mean, the people have to give her more money because how many pictures does she have to sell at ten dollars? No, two point two million. Ten dollars. It's just like Patreon. Ten dollars a month divided yeah, by two point two million. So she has two hundred two thousand people on there doing their doing that thing. 202,000 people a month. A lot of people, man. Not really, if you're a little bit, um, if you're a little bit famous. I mean, look, she goes, it proves that the popularity of the Do It Again singer, who has also featured in several films, TVs, and commercials. So she's just, it's like a snowball effect. If you're kind of famous, and then you propose that you're doing that, all, like a lot of people go, yes, queen, and then it just, Continues. You get put on the front page of YouTube plat, not YouTube, but of the OnlyFans. It's just like she's one of the people that makes this content. So if you log in and you're OnlyFans, oh, that sounds kind of interesting. It's like a safe uh, cam web service for Pornhub, you know? Because I'm sure I've never actually used the Pornhub cam stuff. I mean, I'm assuming it's exist, like it, it's truly a live feed of porn. I'm assuming. I, I seriously, I've never used it. But only fans do a lot of guys and be like, oh, this is like a genuine service that I can trust and I can go on there and pay if I want. Maybe, I'll, you know, I'll give it a shot. And then they, they're browsing profiles and then snowball effect. There you are at the top of the profile because you just were a little bit famous. Oh. Erica Mena makes $4.4 .4 million a month and she's black. And I only say that because, you know, we're supposedly the very racist culture, but there's a black woman much farther ahead than I mean she's in top five. I don't know if that's a racist country. Top five? Yeah, she should be top one, bro. Okay. Top top one. She so makes a cool two. uh look at it with the co uh mm -hmm. she makes a cool twenty five dollars a month. Right? She so far she makes the most, right? Yep. Mia Khalifa makes six point four million dollars a month. Fuck, no way, man. Mia Khalifa joined OnlyFans after quitting the adult film industry several years ago. The former adult film actress is now dishing out the exclusive content that's safe for work but spicy for a subscription charge of twelve ninety nine a month. Yeah, man, she's basically basically what she's saying is she does she's not really getting safe for work means not naked. I mean she's, so she's not, not no, I mean naked. she's not taking it up. You know, she's no, not, safe for she's work. Not, safe for work has to be not naked. Oh, does it? Okay. Well, it's definitely mm -hmm. not. Uh, like, Let me ask you a question, bro. If you're working in the office, could you have naked chicks on your desktop? <laughs> Probably not. No. All okay. right. You got it. Now you know. Now you know what I mean. Tyga. Safe, safe oh, for work. Dude, damn, dude. Tyga's on there making seven point six million dollars a month. God, I got. We got to get on there, bro. We're famous. I'm not interested. But Mia Khalifa is not naked, and she's making that much money. Let's see what Tiger's well, doing. Let's see what Tiger's doing. Uh, Tiger doesn't do shit either, bro. Tiger is gonna make money off. Uh, Ty trust Tiger to make money even off his setback. The Rack City rapper apparently set up his popular OnlyFans account after a leak. A leaked image of his privates went viral. <laughs> he regularly shared explicit content for a U.S. twenty dollars per month charge and was highly displeased after OnlyFans announced it would no longer host such material. Oh, yeah, but then they backtrack that. So. No, yeah, yeah. No, but, you know, it's funny because, you know, basically we could do an OnlyFans, and what that means is that we just got to record the intimate, you know, certain things. So, like, for example, we're taking the shit, you know, we're making no, coffee. Dude, I'm not, I'm not, in, I'm know, not interested in doing We're making uh, some spaghetti, you know. <laughs> No, it has to be sexual. Watering the plants. Look at all these guys. It's all sexual stuff. So if you're interested, in, you know, you can talk to Christian. Yeah, yeah, talk I mean, to I'm Christian still, about I'm, it. I'm sure that you got, dude, you got a lot of YouTube followers. Yeah, I have. I do. I do have a lot of YouTube you followers. Talk to I Christian about it. I do have an OnlyFans. 
Um, but, you know, to me, again, you know, I think it's OnlyFans is, is not just like naked stuff, bro, is what I'm saying. So you remember. No, this is all naked sex things. stuff. It's not sex stuff. Yeah, look at Tiger. He got his Some of it channel. is not all, but on all of it. Cardi B is not doing sex stuff. I bet she is. Cardi B, yeah. 9. Is per, doing sex stuff. No. 9.3 million. Cardi B at number three by. does multiple sex things. Yeah. Cardi B has 101 million followers on Instagram, and her following on OnlyFans is similarly massive. It's no wonder that she makes $9.3 million a month despite a measly six posts to date. She explained why she joined the adult content focused platform in an interview with ID magazine. I, cr- I, I did it to make money. I created, that's pretty good. I created an OnlyFans <laughs> because people are stuck at home more, but also just because I wanted to be on an app where I can talk only and specifically to my fans. Okay. So, so she really is doing, that's probably where the COVID video came from. Yeah. Bella Thorne. Very famous. Very famous. Uh. Who is that? I don't I don't even remember anymore. Former Disney star. There you go. Former Disney star broke OnlyFans the day she signed up, earning over one million dollars on the platform in the first twenty four hours. Right. But some criticized her for making OnlyFans more mainstream. Adult content creator but why is that bad? Told Rolling Stones to witness a celebrity gent a platform and making obscene amounts of money without acknowledging the plight of sex workers is truly a slap in the face. Oh, okay. You know, I think I should do an OnlyFans, bro. I have a feeling. She currently I, offers free subscriptions, but her most revealing content con- uh, is cer- uh, content certainly comes at a premium price. Okay. And then the, finally, Black China, $20 million a month. Black China. If you she thought, is a top earner. Yeah, she's the number one. One Get million a month. Fuck out of here. That bitch is so she, it is a black girl that makes the most. See? <laughs> you racist fucks in America. My she is nasty, bro. I'm sorry, but that's not I mean You like that? It's okay, no, I, bro. I, I'll, I'm not can a fan. I, I'll be very frank. I don't know if I'd really like if I was choosing between you can't handle that. If I was choosing well, like I'm talking specifically if you're watching porn, I truly, I, I wouldn't be that interested in watching her do anything and not yeah, let alone a... partaking myself. Like, I'm not going to say, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, guess, I mean, I don't know what she sounds like, but imagine right. Cardi B having sex. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought he's a different person. Okay. If you thought Black China couldn't get more famous than she did in her high profile relationships with Tyga and Rob Kardashian. Think again. She's making millions on a subscription-based platform by regularly posting exclusive adult content, including photos and videos, uh, even catering to specific fetishes. Okay. For nineteen ninety-nine a month, she made an Instagram yeah. announcement in April of 2020, posting a preview of one of her videos featuring a close-up of her foot stomping on a bowl of grapes oh that amassed 1.1 million views. You know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Christian. We're like, hey, is it okay if I have an OnlyFans and I'll just do shit like that? Like, I'll be stomping on grapes. Talk to her, man. You know, or like taking a piss. I'll talk to her on a tree. I don't know. What do you think? You know, not showing anything, just uh, leaving it to the imagination. What do you think? I think the way you can make the most money off of it is if you and Christian make exclusive adult content on there, but I'm not saying to do that, but I'm just saying like, truly you probably have, I'm telling you, you have enough fans where people would, uh, pay you. Oh, whoa. And suddenly like you, you want me to go on there and start taking shits. (laughs) Say that. Come on, bro. Like, Oh, it's all fun and games until the wife gets involved. And then it's like, Oh, I can't do this. No, but I said, I I, don't feel that. I mean, what are we? I said, I'll do it, bro. You know what I mean? I'll fucking. Yeah. yeah, You're you're telling everybody to do it. Acting like it's a damn. No, I'm saying, I was telling you, I was no man. I was saying, that's what I was going to do. I wasn't saying anybody to do it. I was saying, that's what I was going to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, anyways, I mean, theoretically, I'm just saying that if you and Christian went on there and made something like that, I'm just telling you, you guys probably would pull in a good amount of change, bro. Yeah. Mainly because of her, but yes, you know, my, my, my wife is hot for anyone out there that, uh, can't figure it out by the conversation here. 
Yeah, because uh, yeah, but mainly to watch her. But no. Well, it's okay. also, I mean, technically, I'm telling you, if you went on there, I I truly almost want you to create one and not post anything. I do have one. I okay, okay. Have- I want you to go on your YouTube platform, where Jose has how many subscribers right now? Four thousand. <laughs> Four. Four over. Four million. No, what is it? How many subscribers? Four hundred thousand. No, seriously. 40K. I'm trying to 40, do something 40, here. Four hundred K. No, you have like four thousand. It says four K next to it. Four thousand on each video. He'll get anywhere. Four point oh. It says four point something something number K. Okay, so the point is like a is like a comma. Right, but for a thought experiment, I want you to go create a video that says you're gonna start making ex- like adult content about your sex life and. Never no, post. No, 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 never I post anything. anything. I'll never post any. Hold on, hold on. I won't say anything about my sex life. I'll just say I'm gonna make adult content. Would you guys be interested? Okay, and then link the OnlyFans thing and get people like just say, hey, it's like seven bucks a month, and then they sign up for it, and then you just say, hey, I I, I couldn't do it. I mean, I just I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> No, I'll do something, but it won't be, it okay. won't be anything sexual. I just said I'll make adult content. And, and that, that, and any, that you don't want to do that to your subscribers. Do what to my whatever? No. No, you don't want to do that to your subscribers. You know what you're implying. It'd be better just to lie and say that you backed out and chickened out. And if anybody wants something no. back, no. I'll make adult content. What the fuck you mean? All right, so you're going to troll your audience for money. No, but the thing is that my audience, they want to have, it's like Patreon. Yeah, Just think of nice. OnlyFans like Patreon. That's it. You know what I mean? Where you can do like things on Patreon, like live things on Patreon, the show on Patreon. You know what I mean? I could, yeah, I could, I could be cooking and only Look at this. Apron. Look at this. Opie says someone might pay to watch someone poop in bags. Yeah. <laughs> in fact. In fact I'm pretty sure that nobody, not many people are doing that on YouTube. I mean, on, on OnlyFans, Bruh. if you if you film yourself pooping in bags, dude, you can you you can you imagine? Can you Bruh. imagine Hanson is on the ties in the fucking uh t- in the in the Top next list, 2020, the most richest. You know, you're in the top. You know, ten. I'll shit in a bag. Uh, I'll shit in a yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah. And then be like, this latecomer. He only only four months in. He started pooping in a bag in late October. And uh, and only and only three and a half months uh, out of the year, um, you know, out of uh, the last year, he was able to rack in more money than Nicki Minaj. So the only reason people would pay for it is because they know me from this show, and I'm not saying any of you guys would. No, I think I think there's people. Out you there really that think will, that that would like people would come yes. across it? No, there's a lot of people that would love to pay. That would be a great OnlyFans. You, you shitting in a bag. <laughs> Imagine if. Know what i mean like no. that's that's fucking that's gold right there bro there's that's that's extremely x-rated that's like super fetish super i mean you can't even find that shit in a porn store bro you yeah know? you can't, you, you can't you, even, i don't think you can really like, find oh, you it you gotta go to like the deep recesses <laughs> of the fucking internet you imagine the shit. people you i'd be interacting you know, you with find that shit you find that shit on forty eight thousand chan yeah. okay that's where you're <laughs> bro <Bruh. laughs> Yeah, I don't even know. I I'm all, I'm familiar with the internet. I don't come across people like that too often. I mean, if, yeah, if, you have. I mean, how about this, bro? It's pretty you deep. know, I mean, it's like the equivalent. It's the equivalent of like two girls, one cup. I mean, you ever seen that? Yeah, like that. That'd be the hope is that it could go that viral and people would be daring. Like, hey, dude, you, I'm I'm gifting you a subscription to his OnlyFans, and they're like, oh my god, he's shitting in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> he's shitting in a bag, bro. I can't do it. <laughs> You know, them throwing up, basically. <laughs> Even though, maybe people would buy it. Dude, I almost spit all over my computer, bro. I was drinking some water when you are saying that. Now, listen, man. Yes, I think you should do an OnlyFans. I think you should do an OnlyFans. And, um... I, I already do. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do OnlyFans. I'm going to do fucking uh, adult content. What does that mean? What are you going to do? I don't know. We're going to find out. Hmm. Why don't you go shit in a bag a couple times? <laughs> I don't even know how to go about that, bro. To tell you the truth, I find like it's it's like messy. It's like how do you, no. how do, you do that without getting messy? 
You're clearly. I mean, okay. So for anybody listening, oh, got, that, hey, for you, anybody, you, wait, 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 wait. For anybody, you listen, think it's shit, and then you like have a, a the toilet is like a like a like a hold on like a trash can, and and then you just right. No, no, no. It's like taking. So for anybody who's new to the sh- uh, shotgun news, ever since COVID happened, I've moved up to this cabin where there's no running water, and the company where I work at, like an office job, we all went remote. And they just continually were saying, hey, uh, the deadline is like three more months and then we'll have everybody back in the office. Uh, you know, so they continually did that. So it was hard to plan around the whole pandemic. They were saying pandemic, quote unquote, they were saying, hey, it's going to be like three more months and then we'll be back in the office. So it's like, OK, well, I don't, I don't have any deadline. So what I did was instead of paying for an expensive downtown apartment where Black Lives Matter was burning down buildings literally right next door anyways. And the riots were going in the streets. Instead of staying there, I moved up to this cabin, which has no running water in the winter. It's not winterized. So then as soon as winter starts coming, I'm like, well, I can either probably leave or try to drive into town and, you know, take shits there. But when I can't, I can either pay rent for two months or shit in a bag, basically. And what you do... Does not pay rent for two months and you shouldn't bag. Yeah, well, save. That's what you do. Well, it saved me money. That's right. I don't claim to be. Bags, shit bags are cheaper than rent. I mean, it's just the same as if you're out there. What do you think the military does when they're on deployment? They don't shit in a bag. They probably shit. No, they shit. They do shit in a hole, basically. Yeah. So, but what do you do again? So, how do you sh- how do you shit in a bag? How is okay. that? Okay. So they sell many five no like what is it like 10 i don't even know how many gallon like 10 to 20 gallon garbage bags small little garbage bags and then what you would do is you would take um like it's basically just like taking a home depot buck you know those buckets Mm -hmm. like those fish gallon buckets yeah line a garbage bag in it there's your toilet you have toilet paper around Take your shit, wash or uh, wipe your ass. You take a shit in a bucket. I mean, where? How do you think you're taking a shit when you're taking a shit on a toilet? It's basically the same exact thing. I mean, yeah, honestly, dude, the most difficult part is that you're outside because it's cold. Because you're not shitting in the you're not shitting in your house. So you would go. That's, fucking, that's what animals do. Who, who would shit in their house? <laughs> right. In fact, so it, so where I set like if if. Like technically, like what I would do, because I didn't want to be like out in the middle of the yard with a like. So what I I have this disconnected, dislocated like garage. So garage door inside the garage, it's super cold in there. It's disconnected from everything else, but I have basically a Home Depot bucket lining with a trash bag, and then if you have to take a shit, I, you know you don't line it with a trash. You just have it sit. You have it there in case you need it, and then if you're not in town and you have to take a shit. Walk right outside, take your shit. After you're done taking the shit, this is the worst part. Hmm. Wipe your ass and take that bag, tie it up and throw it basically uh, in, a big, in a big garbage bag. Like a big garbage bag that you then put in the trunk of your car and throw it in the oh. dumpster at a gas station in town. Oh my god. Like, That's probably the worst part is taking it to a dumpster in town. But I'm not gonna. Worst what, part, what do you think I'm gonna do? Is throw it in the lake. You're transporting all that shit. You get pulled over, and a cop op- makes you open your trunk. And well, what do you think? That bag. Diapers are the same situation. I mean, what, do you think people aren't throwing away their diapers when no, their kids shit it's themselves? You you shit a lot more than a baby. No, no. Yes. Maybe you shit a lot more than a baby, not me. I definitely shit more than a baby. I shit a baby, not okay? Me. Not me. What do you mean, not you, bro? What the fuck? How many times do you shit like a day? Uh, a couple times in the morning, a few times in the morning. Really? Yeah, you, and then how many times in the afternoon and night? Like a day, dude. That's it. A couple times in the morning? That's it. I, I only shit once a day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, once or twice a day, you know? Mr. Lodak goes, as a police officer, what's in the bag? <laughs> That's when the clown oh. music would go off. 
Uh, no, but I mean, the, but the worst Bruh. part is that you go and you throw that shit and you throw the shit inside somebody else's dumpster. That's like the worst. No, it's a public dumpster. Can you imagine a bum is looking through that dumpster and they open that bag? Oh, I mean, seriously, why is he doing digging through the trash? <laughs> That's not right, dude. You shouldn't be digging through the trash. That's not correct. Okay. Do not dig through trash. The poor bum. Where, where do you think the bum's shitting? Not in the, not in the dumpster. He's more civilized. Oh, he on the street. The He's more civilized. He goes to the bathroom. Gotta go. Thanks for the live. See you next time. <laughs> nice. <Bye. laughs> you guys scared Blueberry away. <laughs> Fucking so much shit. See ya, Blueberry. Tuesday night. We'll be. I'll be live in Tennessee. Going to Tennessee next week. Oh, so tell us about that. <sighs> I don't know. What do you want to know? You don't want to tell us? So I'm going to. Um, what if you have some uh, some lefty fans and they're going to be waiting for you over there? Yeah. To give you a tour. No, I'm going to <laughs> Nashville for a week. I'll be driving over tomorrow at 4 p.m. Right at 4 p.m. Central. I got to leave work, sign off, start driving over to Wisconsin. It's going to be a six hour drive, which means at 10 p.m. I'll get to the hotel oh, that means that you gotta finish work like at three bro probably because of gas stations and such yeah no yeah i mean not just that but like you know what you're just gonna log off and like start your car you know like probably uh, well through the day i'll probably like my lunch break will be me putting all my stuff in the car yes and then six hour drive over to wisconsin uh sign into the hotel which i booked this time ahead of time I didn't do that last time and I ended up paying like $212 for a room. Okay, so how much are you paying now? 210. No, 84 with tax or 85. You're gonna go see your. Who are you gonna go see? You're I gotta go see. Uh, you're gonna go see Pro Jam or. No, I gotta. Tool? So I gotta. Or... So in Wisconsin, I'm going to see the. I'm gonna, you know, monitor, monitor the situation at the park. And then that's the trailer park. And then start working on this ten thousand dollar home that we bought. So I'll, oh, I'll do a little bit of work on that. Bowling. And then yeah, yeah. yeah, you haven't seen it yet, right? In person. Not in person. It's gonna be exciting. Yes. And then I'll leave Wisconsin around hopefully two p.m. and set out for my twelve hour drive into Nashville, Tennessee. From Wisconsin, oh, wow. so, so there's you're that's, driving twelve hours at when? What time? Probably from Saturday, from like two p.m. to maybe nine p.m. No, probably till like uh, sorry, like eleven o'clock at night. Pull into a Love's truck stop, sleep in the car, and then finish the next four hours the morning of Sunday. Okay. See, you guys don't live like me, do you? Like I'm working an office job and I'm shitting in a bag out in the garage. Living out in the middle of the cabin, and now this this weekend, sleeping, driving, sleep, driving thirteen hours like down south, sleep, pulling into some god knows where. I haven't planned it out. Some truck you're, stop, you're, yeah, man, loves you know, truck you're, stop. No government can fuck with you, man. Shit, you know you shit in the bag. You drive across That's country. Right. You know you fucking yeah you. So then you're I'll packed. pull into Nashville on Sunday morning. Check into my Airbnb, which is by the way. Nice. It's a nice Airbnb. I showed it to Jose. Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I remember it's got like a enclosed backyard, grill, deck. It's a house. It's got like a... Oh, yeah. I won't say much more. It's got oh. a good amount oh. of amenities. So I'll live... I'll live... Uh, I'll be there Tuesday. I'll be there Sunday. Watch some football. And then Monday morning, unfortunately, I didn't take any time away from work. So I'm going to be working the whole time. Isn't that stupid? I'm, I'm so dumb, but whatever. Maybe I'll ask off tomorrow for like Thursday and Friday, but ah, it's so late to ask. But next Monday through Friday, I'll be in Tennessee. And then Saturday, I have to sign out of the Airbnb. So I'll probably hit a golf course on my way out of town and drive up, ooh, up to, all the way up to here. It's probably going to be like 16, 17 hours. Cool. Saturday, maybe nine hours. Sunday, another seven. You ever been to Tennessee? Drove through it on my way down to Florida in February. 
Nice, nice. And I found it very actually nice. It's like rolling hills. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, it is. Very pretty. So yeah, I mean, you guys hope you have a nice, fun weekend. I can't imagine it being more exciting than mine. If you have uh, any recommendations for things, you're gonna be on location. So next next week, you're gonna be Tuesday and Thursday night. Well, there'll be no there'll be no quag sires, no blue hairless beavers next week. Oh, because I'm not taking my. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe now that I've said that, I should. I should take it. Maybe it's yet to be determined. Uh, whatever. No, don't do it. I don't know if I'll end up taking my powerful PC down to don't, Tennessee don't. with me. I might leave it or drop it somewhere in a secure location, not where I currently am. Oh, why? You don't want to leave it in the cabin? I don't want somebody to try to rob this place while I'm gone. So what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> now, that I've said just... it, now that I've said it out loud, I'm a bit paranoid because... You just, yeah, you just uh, <laughs> thought of it now? No, I thought of it while I was saying it, but there was really no way to go back. Bruh. <laughs> so now Bruh. what? So now what time are you leaving work tomorrow so you can drop off the PC? No, I'll probably take the PC with me, honestly. Oh, leave the monitors? Well, no, because think about it. At, for work all week, I need two monitors for work. So I'm going to need to take my two monitors anyways. So all, uh -huh. all it is is an additional CPU. Like everything else is going to be there anyways. A CPU and a cord. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. You might as well take it with you. I think so. Yeah, you know, yeah, I would. But, but, you know, some when I finish work, what, what's, the, what's the time zone in Nashville, by the way? What current time Eastern. in Nashville? Is it central? I think it's central. It, yeah, can't it could be, be central or it east is. coast. It can't be east of... Because even some of the panhandle in Florida is central, right? So I don't know where the fuck Nashville is. Could it possibly be... Where could it be now? Current time in Nashville. 9.25 p.m. at Central Standard Time. There you go. So, so time what that means is I'll be working until like 4. And then, you know what? You guys don't mind. Let's, do you guys, like, what should I do when I'm in Nashville? Can I look at things to do? And can we look at that? Yeah, Dolly Parton Museum, Elvis Museum. No, I'm not a big, I'm not a boomer. So I'm not going to do the boomer stuff. Well, then you know what you could do? Go, Go fuck, fuck yourself. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you, can, you can visit the Grand Ole Opry. Not a fan? I don't know about that. You know what the Grand Ole Opry is? 30 best and fun things to do in Nashville. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I saw that list here. Let me, let me help you read it. Uh, Margaret. Karen, Linda, Beth. Oh. Things to do in Nashville, Tennessee. Here's the Those grand, like best things hey, to do. There. It's what you talked about, the Grand Old Opry. I'm not doing this. Why? Well, let's see. Yeah, Nashville is, is good if you like, uh, you know, fucking country shit. But if you don't like country shit, then uh, what the fuck are you going remember, to Nashville? Well, you already know why I'm going to Nashville, and that's what I was talking right. about on Tuesday, where I was like, you "I can't go see Pantera, guys." No, it's like a, oh, it's, it's a, it's a gay commune. No, but it's nothing to do with country music, frankly. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay, hailed as the show that made country music famous, the Grand Ole Opry has been running for almost a century. Okay, it offers a lot of the latest, greatest <laughs> in country. Uh, Karen goes, thanks for the shout out, Jose. Right, that's right. <laughs> Catching a show is almost the rite of passage in the South. Okay, here's number two, Broadway. I'll probably check out Broadway. Not a show, I'll just check it out, you know? Mm -hmm. Get some barbecue. Drive by it. You're definitely going to get some barbecue. The food there, phenomenal. Broadway is the beating heart of the downtown Nashville. Covering food. several yeah, neon lit blocks. It's a neighborhood where there are bars, clubs, restaurants, shops, saloons, and honky tonks. Yeah. Oh, you gotta God. drink some Jack Daniels. That's where it's from. It's from Tennessee. Oh my gosh. Okay, here, oh here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Some history. You gotta, you gotta eat barbecue, bro. They're known for their barbecue for you know okay. pulled pork, you know, shit like that. Yeah, here's the Parthenon. Parthenon. That's right. Before it became known for country music, Nashville used to have the reputation for higher learning. It offered the largest number of colleges and universities in Tennessee, 
and it was sometimes referred to as the Athens of the South. Mm -hmm. In 19, 9, 1897, builders decided to run with the nickname and raise a full-scale replica of the Parthenon right in the middle of Nashville. Today, the Parthenon functions as an art museum and cultural center. It hosts a number of paintings, text, statues, and sculptures. It's one of the major points of interest in Nashville, especially for patrons of the arts. You can often find theater tropes performing Greek plays on the front steps. Yeah, man. They should have some good gyros around there. Mm -hmm. Cumberland Park. No, racist, but no yeah. I'm going to pass on this one. I don't just go to a random park and look at something like that. No. Okay. Oh, look at this. The, gay, good, the Gaylord Op Opera Land Resort and Convention Center. Oh, wow. Yeah. Gayland. You should have stayed there. I forgot about that. You should have stayed there. Gayland. You've never yeah. seen a hotel like this. Yeah, because gay, you know, used to mean happy. No, actually, this looks pretty cool. Not only does it offer luxury suites in the most hopping, bopping parts of downtown Nashville, but it's also home to activities and amenities that make it the right vacation destination. You should go. For starters, the resort is filled with pools, plants, and gardens, and fountains. Uh, and waterfalls and a glass atrium. Boat tours are available if you want to drink, uh, drift along the river. There's also a spa, gym, and golf course. Most, oh. More than a dozen bars and restaurants line the corridors. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, my like, God, dude. This like is... Heaven. Can I be honest with you? I am entirely underwhelmed. I feel like Minneapolis has a better list than this, and I don't... Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's terrible. You know, Nashville, Nashville is not known. I don't know. Nashville Fuck. is just country. That's it's terrible, a, bro. Nashville is oh, a country. Oh, my God. Look, listen, Nashville is a country music capital of the world. That's all it is. I mean, they got good barbecue. But that's it. Fuck. Isn't there any Civil War stuff? I mean, geez. No. Oh. No, I don't even think any Civil War should happen there. Too far south, huh? No, too far fucking. Oh my north. god, look what made the list. The Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame and Museum. You've got to be joking me. And when yeah. I went when I went to Cleveland and they have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I thought that was like I was like, well, you know, it's cool. But at the same time, Tennessee has or Nashville has the just Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. Yeah, this is super lame, bro. This is worse than I thought. Yes. Admit it. This is worse than you thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, it is worse than I thought. This is actually way worse because look at. Holy I mean that cow. that. I mean, look at that. Look at you. Did you, you see who was there? Who the fuck else? Yeah, Eli Manning, Manning or something. Eli Manning. <laughs> Maybe it was Payne. Who the fuck else came out of pain. Tennessee, bro? Oh my god! Here's oh, TripAdvisor. Kind of this is really bad. What about nothing? Yeah. We did. There's nothing about Dolly Parton. Nothing about you know. The fuck. I don't want to do the daily. That Parton list is pretty thing. whack, bro. Okay. You should look at another list. Oh, look bro. at this. Actually, cool things to do in Nashville this fall. Yeah. Nice. That list. That list is pretty whack, bro. Okay. This looks like a trans. Um. Nothing wrong, but I'm not gonna be hanging out with a like. What is this? <laughs> nah. There you go. <laughs> hey, at least she's having fun, or whoever that is. It's right up your alley. <laughs> That's gonna be you next week, right there. Get festive at the music events. Chill with some jazz. I think you're gonna dress up like a chick. Go on a mural walk. This is really bad. Taking some of Nashville's most iconic sites. Oh gosh. You go to Nashville to work, bro. Don't. This is really bad. Yeah, don't don't be taking any. Yeah, dude, just go, dude. The only thing Fuck. that's good about Nashville that's is bad. the food. So it's a good thing that you're going out there to work because, you know, you know, you can just get the food after you're done working there's got to so be some cool stuff up in the every mountains. night every night concentrating and going out to get some food that's it yeah i mean you know? truthfully i'm they down i'm little, down there for great. i'm down there for 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 one event on yeah. tuesday night so i knew that i couldn't and by the way that's why the tuesday show might be a little bit sketch by the way we might have to go live monday night and mm -hmm. that might not be the worst thing to get you know get, get a monday night update from nashville and, um, but we'll see. But Tuesday night, I'm going down there for one event, and I know if it was on the weekend, I would have considered some other way about doing this, but I knew I could either just spend the week down there or take three days off and drive and drive, and that'd be too many hours. I'm sure the Airbnb was cheap as fuck, right? 
pretty cheap. Yeah, the fuck? There's nothing to do there. Listen, man, like at the end of the day, um, you're going to go to there to work. And the only reason you go there is to eat. What the so hell? Dude? There's more images like this. It's called the big drag bus. Why is this on a bunch of oh, them? Holy cow. I mean, they've got two images of the drag bus on this uh, list of things to do. That's really, so you, I mean, I'm so sorry, but I think I, I honestly, I mean, if we could look at, let me just look at like some pictures of Nashville or something like somebody show me something cool. Drag bus. So is that what you're going to go on? <laughs> hey, look at this, dude. This looks sweet. Look, I'm going to go through a cave. Yeah, you should do shit like that. Yeah. What's this? How much? 25 things to do in Nashville. Oh gosh. Where's that well, thing with the cave? Much of a travel destination. Huh? <laughs> Nashville's good. It has like a lot of, uh, look, again, food and outdoor shit. You know what I mean? Here we go. They're good for outdoor stuff. Lost for River country, Canyon. Country, country, Canyon. Huh? This looks pretty lame, actually. There's way too little people on it. Looks like they just kind of go right through the... Uh, I'm going to be disappointed. Dopey says, take pictures of the AT&T building. Tell me if there's a hole in it. <laughs> oh. I don't get it. I think there was a bombing there. <laughs> or maybe something else. I don't know if he's talking about the bombing. Remember, there was the Nashville bomber who like drove a bus up to it. Okay. That was bad. I'll take your word for it. I believe you, sir. You know, just one of the many yes. things that's So what are you so you're not Biden's excited about the food, bro? You don't like barbecue? I guess that's all I'm excited about, which is unfortunate. They got, they got good. They got you know what good. I should do? You know what I should do? I should like, um, but they got good bars and good food, bro. I mean, what you know you what want? I seriously might do Jose. And I'm not kidding about this. You're going to Disney world. No, I might. Um, Oh, well, firstly, I got to take a picture with these wings. These wings are famous. These wings right here. Yeah. I didn't realize those were in Nashville. Okay. So those Hot I, wings, hot wings. Haven't you seen these wings on that? Oh, block? Geez, that's so gay. I know, but I'm just saying like that is famous at least. God, no wonder you do listen to fucking TikTok, Dude, you know how many of those fucking things there are all over the world, bro? They got like one in LA. That they was got... famous. Okay. LA. Oh yeah. I'll take a picture of the, I'll take a picture of the wall with the big uh, George Floyd mural on it. And it'll be a little bit piece of shit at the bottom left corner. Fuck out of here. Are you gonna send it to you? Bruh. No, I don't want you to send it to me. Here's what I was gonna say though. I'm gonna set up some tours for some commercial properties. I'm gonna go to LoopNet and I'm gonna start touring some commercial properties while I'm down there because I'm, I go might as fucking well. Yeah, you go out there and look at some fucking property, bro. That's what I'm gonna do because this is Smart. lame. There's nothing, yeah, there's nothing to fucking do. Yeah, man, I think that's your best idea, bro. You know, just go out there and, uh, you know, look at the lay of the land. And uh, maybe you can. It's a Here, great place to live. It's a great place to live. It's in the quiet, peaceful, you know. Let's look at some loop net. It's in the Appalachian Mountains. Let's look at some loop net and figure out which property I should tour. Um, oh, no. That's not. Come on. No. The only thing people want to see is the people want to hear you look at property. Let's see what else. Uh, but it's a good idea. Look, we look. We we did uh, work on Nashville, you know, and uh, we saw that Nashville's uh, kind of. Right. I'll just do this in the background, and I'll put the desert thing, and. Uh... Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, you can look at property in the background. But anyways, I mean, so what's the next story? Then we have a bunch of stories. Let's see the. What's the next story for the day? Uh, talk about um how. Shiba Inu coin went like up 50% and then down again. I mean, it's crashed. Oh, really? Talk about crypto, man. I didn't, I didn't know it was down. I just oh, yeah. It, it went all the way up to like 34. And then it went down. And then again. it went down again to 22, where it's exactly where it was when we talked about it on Tuesday. Ah, the classic, uh, the pump in the dump. The, the pump in the dump. The pump in the dump. But uh, it is listed on Binance, and I think I'm going to buy it. I told you this week, my, so I, I don't know what it is about my coworkers, but they're just kind of crazy. Like one of them is, and I love, like I, I like it, but one of them is I'm telling him a little bit about property and you know, the typical reaction was like, wow, I should really do something like that. And I'm just like, oh, well, I mean, it's everybody's own thing, but I definitely recommend it. Easiest money I've ever made. And I don't like brag about it. I'm just like, I tell them if they ask exactly what it is and how, how much money it makes, especially when they ask, oh, what do you, you know, 
so what is it like or what you know what kind of whatever whatever if i mention the trailer park i'm gonna follow it up with like numbers so this guy at work he doesn't he doesn't really let it go he's like we got a partner on something like this and he continually like not just that day he brings it up the next day and he goes no like um still i'm he goes he basically just brings it up and he's very serious and he's like i mean if we needed to scratch together two hundred thousand dollars i could certainly do that hmm. and i'm like okay <laughs> all right because i was kind of i was yeah, saying you know i mean i'm kind of new to this job and i'm thinking to myself like yeah it's a nice thing to talk about and let's continue to talk about it and we'll figure out if me and you should partner at some point here you know that's how it i'm not in a i'm not in a mode where i'm gonna go buy something right now because I'm just not right now. I don't have a hundred thousand or two hundred. And he's like, and I didn't bring anything up, but he was just like, I mean, I, I could scratch together $200,000. So we should really do this. Like, uh, you know, and he's just start. he's basically saying he's going to start doing all the looking and everything. And I'm like, okay. But then additionally on Tuesday, Bitcoin's up to above 50,000. And I just messaged one of my coworkers and I message him Bitcoin above 50,000. And I message another coworker and I send them the Dogecoin GIF on, because I told you we have Dogecoin GIFs on the messenger now. Yes. And one of them is like, hell yeah, I know Dogecoin's going to pump. I mean, he's a, he buys Dogecoin and the other guy doesn't really say much about it. And then this other guy who's, he's, he calls me and he goes, how do I, he's down in Texas and he's like, how do I get access? I tried buying in like eight months ago when people were telling me about it and I, you know, I, I really got to get into this. I really want to buy this. And I was telling him about Binance, but apparently I didn't know this. But in Texas, you can't access Binance. He verified his account, and you can't purchase if you have a Texas address through Binance.us. Not just Binance, like Binance.us. And I Googled it because yeah. I didn't believe him. I Googled it while I was on the phone with him, and the app... It doesn't allow it in multiple states, but Texas is one of them. So he was like, which other one should I use? And I said, well, you could technically use Robin Hood or you could use, because he wanted to buy Dogecoin, or you could use um, Coinbase. And he goes, oh, I already have a Coinbase. Let me try that. And by the end of the day, he messages me back and he goes, I bought $10,000 of Dogecoin and tomorrow I'm going to buy. Oh, yeah, and then he goes, and tomorrow I'm going to buy another 10000 And then... He goes, um, if my wife asks me about it, I'm going to blame you, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> but he's joking. And then the next day, that was to today, I go in there and he goes, I told the wife about it. She said, just don't buy much more of it. But I did buy $1,500 of Shibu Inu. And I didn't even tell, I didn't mention anything about fucking Shibu Inu coin he just goes, I bought $1,500 of Shibu just, Inu. Yeah, fucking whatever. It's not really... He was going to do all that shit anyway, trust me. So anyways, another... he bought $10,000 of Doge and another 1500 of Shibu Inu. So tell us about the crypto market. I want to know what's going on. I got to... These people need to have answers. This guy's going to have questions and I'm going to need to have answers. So please, Jose. What's going on with the space? Uh, the pump and the dump. Uh... Well, what's going on with Mitch Ray? Like, you got updates from Mitch Ray or... I don't have any updates from Mitch Ray. Oh, don't you watch that show so you can give us the details in a short news broadcast? Not with all the well, details. What, what details do you want to give you? I want you to tell me. Are we, uh, I think, from my understanding, like, sky's the limit until around 62,000. And then we might backtrace a little oh, bit. Oh, you mean, yeah, well, yeah. I think that we're going to fucking get to fucking uh, easy um, at least 100K. Um, but every, I mean, everyone, uh, everyone charts, they keep saying around 200 K. So I was like, wow. Okay. That's, uh, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, from what I see in my non-expert opinion, um, I think that, you know, we could actually fucking hit, uh, you know, at least a hundred K, but from what everyone else uh, is saying, uh, we could get as high as 200 K. So two hundred thousand dollars on a Bitcoin, um, but at the very least a hundred thousand dollars. And yeah, you know we're already moving up. Uh, you know every single day you're looking at. You know we we already was it in October, October, um, September is like the worst trading month. You know we survived that. We survived the dump after the Elon Musk SNL appearance. 
And now we are uh, back to pumping again. And the thing is, it's like this, man. These markets are very manipulated, all right? But they still can't, um, because of the limited supply, because of certain other aspects, you know what I mean, that are, you know, um, contributors to all of this, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, they can't, they can pump and they can dump, but the price will not stop going up. You know what I mean? Because of the inflation and so many other, you know, factors that they can't, you know, that they can't stop because they're contributing it to, again, you know, just like the stock market, you know, you don't even have to bet on, on uh, fucking Bitcoin or whatever. You can bet on the stock market and you're going to have just as likely a scenario. It's just that you're not going to have as fat of gains and uh, you're going to have to play, pay a lot of more cap capital gains tax. But other than that, it's the same shit. You know, mm. you follow me? Did I make any sense? Well, here, let me give you some information that you might not know about yet. And I think it might impact the crypto space coming up this December. Mitch McConnell today agreed. He bought XRP. He bought XRP. No, he... Oh agreed and came to a deal to raise the debt ceiling so that it can be raised right now or within the next week or so and it doesn't hurt the democrats plans for their big their big uh build back better agenda platform that they were having to rush together in one big old raise the debt ceiling and do the build back better thing at once because they were having to do both at once due to how the senate set up now mitch mcconnell came to an agreement so they're going to raise the debt ceiling so there is no longer any fear of a december shutdown it's not going to happen there's only going to be a build back better program pl platform after mitch uh, after the democrats come to an agreement with joe manchin and Kristen cinema who was followed into the bathroom over the weekend mm -hmm. but that's great news for crypto it means that there's not a debt uh there's not going to be a closing of the government or you know whatever in December. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I could have told you that. Yeah, yeah but I, I, you know what I was surprised? Gregory Manorino in today's video, he doesn't even mention that. And that's a big deal for the market. I mean, he'll mention I mean, it tomorrow. I, I promise you, he'll mention it tomorrow. And he missed it. He missed it today. I mean, to me, you know, it's all the news is all irrelevant and all this other shit. If they, if the government, for whatever reason, says, hey, uh, Bitcoin is illegal, crypto is illegal. Um, dude, you know, that, that, that's just going to be bad news for the government, nothing else. So, you know, it's not, you know, to ban it or anything like that, but more like embrace it, embrace technology and just say, hey, look, we got a better product, the Fed coin, and that's it. So, I mean, I don't know. To me, I don't, because if they ban it and then all of a sudden, you know, they, if they ban it, then they have no excuse, no reason you know, no, um, you know, whatever to make a Fed coin and push a Fed coin because people will be like, whoa, wait a minute. I thought you said these are bad and you banned it and now you're making your own coin. Do you have like a little bit of an agenda here as opposed to if they just let it play out and um, and then all of a sudden kind of manipulate it to the point where it makes people scared of it and uh, but they still understand it. And then they'll just say, oh, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, I'll uh, use this Fed coin instead. It's safer and government protected and yada, yada, yada. And your money is going to be safe and it's not going to be volatile. I'm just so trying to just give me the information so I can make some money. OK, that's all I want to know. How am I making money in this environment? I don't don't give me the map. Well, just know that bullshit. it's a pump and dump and that um, and just, you know, be careful out there, but just learn how to trade. Okay. So we're going up or down? I mean, oh, uh, going up. Okay. We're going up. So we're going up. Sorry. I had uh, something fly in my mouth. Uh -huh. It fly flew in my mouth. We're going I'm, up. I'm glad we're going up. We're going up. I don't know about the show, but our wallets, they're going up. Good. Our value is going up. Our penis. It's going up. You must be making an OnlyFans video. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Sir. You're still amazed by those numbers, aren't you? Yes. I can't believe they made so much. I mean, wow. I was so wrong. Yeah. I was so fucking wrong. God damn, like 10 million a year, fucking month. Yeah. That's like more than uh what Soros makes. More than like what the NFL quarterback makes. <laughs> Yeah, that's, what, that's definitely more than what Kirk Cousin makes. Yeah, it is. 
That's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's I fucking... know. And he's like trained his whole life, and you know, whatever. You know, he's the this bitch is just a uh, black China making more. Yeah, and, 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 disgusting snitch. And yeah, exactly. And 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 some girls mm-hmm. just kind of strike gold, get lucky a little bit, and just put a little spandex on and take a few snaps, and maybe get a guy to come over and fuck you down, and then uh, put that online and. Tens of millions. No, I mean, realistically, most random girls that would do that, probably like, you know, top ones, maybe 150,000 a month. I mean, that's realistic. So, seriously. (laughs) What was that? (laughs) Somebody mad. I'm sorry. We can stop talking about OnlyFans. Nicki Minaj. Hey, oh, so what happened Nikki? with that, bro? Has uh, she still going, uh, going ham? You know, going hard. Ah, uh, the news story's over. Who knows? Oh, okay, she's done. Well, I'll tell you one thing: the right wing media is done covering her because I don't hear about it, and the left wing aren't focused on her because she's black, so they don't they don't criticize her much. So she's in her own vacuum at this point. But the right wing media, for some reason, has moved on. Probably because Biden has a. Uh, crisis on every single situation he lays a hand on you know wow can i just tell you something yeah there are no good properties in nashville even to tour oh hold on hold on hold on wait oh damn it why is this taking so long of course of course of course (laughs) that sucks I think you all know that I've always felt the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Bro. Hey, listen, um, Nashville is nice, but it's shitty. Okay. In fact, I'm look, just gonna you, find, you know, know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to like, I'm just going to find. Yeah. That's too bad. Hey, here, I'm you know, so uh, frustrated you, by that. But it's okay. Hey, look, they have amazing internet. Have you seen the internet that they have over there? <laughs> Is the rest of the show going to just be you taking these uh, quick pun jokes? <laughs> <laughs> you got anything else? <laughs> Damn, that sucks, though. Man, I should just go to Florida. Yeah, I, I I agree. Florida's way better, bro. Is there like another city nearby that I should go to? Oh, they got a Top Golf. At least that's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but Nashville. I mean, you know, they don't they don't have much there, bro. They got good food, and that's it. Sorry. <clears throat> Mr. Lodag post crickets. <laughs> Bruh. What are you trying to say, man? What are you trying to say? Bruh. What are you trying to say? Huh? You guys don't even understand. Bro. He's trying to say something? Is he, 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 is he? Look, it's right on the front page, buddy. It's on the front page. I mean, you guys don't even look at this and you guys consider yourself watching the market. Short term debit limit fix passes the Senate. Senate votes to raise the nation's debt limits into December after GOP joins Democrats in breaking the filibuster. In breaking a filibuster. It now goes to the House. What are the markets saying about this? Can we take a look at CNN? Where is it? Uh, can, check out, can you look at what futures are up to? Hmm. No? Yes. I'll check what it out. Read, what are you reading there? What are you reading? I'm just following the news. I mean, after all, it's breaking. Hey, check <laughs> it out. Look at the futures. The Dow Jones is up 95 points. That's good. I mean, it's not monumental. Everything's, everything's going to pump now. Exactly. Bro. Well, hey, I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like you didn't have this news. I brought it for us, and and that's when what's it, happening. When, dude. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I think that they're going to hold this over everybody's head in December again. You know, they're going to play the same game. It's going to be fun. We'll see. Right at Christmas. 
No, we're going to close the government down during the Christmas. These Republicans are horrible. They don't want to pass this bill. And they're going to do this during Christmas. I mean, during the holidays. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Yeah, of course I'm right. I'm always right. Mm. Except when I'm wrong. You don't think so? They're postponing it till December so they can hold yeah, it. Yeah, that kind of looks like still December date, which is not what I was hearing. I heard it was through December, so maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, through December. Yeah, like, you know, like it expires December 20th. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I say like, we need to fucking sign this. Oh, see, look, see, look, they need to get to December 3rd. So. Hey, that Proton email address. Looks like uh, they removed some language from their privacy policy that says we do not keep any IP logs. Now it appears that they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyone that thinks that Proton Mail is uh, not government run, I don't know what to tell you. Really? Yeah. Man, it's just so hard to find an honest actor out there anymore. It's hard to what? find an honest actor they presented themselves as truly being for the privacy and here they are removing policy language swindling the people yeah again remember it's supposed to be a privacy email what the fuck are they talking about right. anything at all period right right i mean they're just a they're a private privacy email company right all they do is provide email addresses and make sure that they're private right and coded whatever right yeah and, and they and they're, they're doing what they got like gay policies or something mm. I, don't I, mean, I don't know the full story i don't want to yeah, shame like them if you too say much. certain things in your private email that are supposed to be encrypted and nobody can look at um well if we find something in those you're gonna be in trouble really mm, i don't know that's, that's, maybe uh, those maybe it was private and nobody can see it. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. So what do you think about Rachel Maddow? She looks like a boy. God. You're really not bringing your A-game tonight, Jose. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You're but completely what do you mean all over mail? the board, bro. No, You're, but the pro mail thing is, like is true. Right I mean, now, oh right God. now, what happened with the pro time mail? They fucking, oh, they just said that if we find any fucking, uh, any kind of weird wording, right? Any kind of bad language in your emails that we're going to, you know. Whoa, gonna... everybody pause. Andrew Yang has trended. He's officially launching a third party. Oh, yeah. He has You're left right? the Democratic Party. Andrew Yang's new political party is to, su- uh, to support Bitcoin. His new, par- oh, his new really? party. Is to su- gang gang. has a position to support Bitcoin. I knew, dude, that's very libertarian of him. Yeah, so you think it's gonna be Yang and Camilla? I mean, no, no, so Yang and uh, what the fuck is her name again? Don't tell me it's Tulsi. Tulsi Gabbard. Don't yeah. tell me it's Tulsi. I'll have to vote for them. Yeah, man. I, me too. Honestly, the fact that he's even embracing Bitcoin at all—I mean, that's more than Trump ever did. He Trump didn't verbally say ever like protect bitcoin you know he never did that so that's pretty cool that andrew yang did that so is he is he if, if you know what if he says hey i am going to create a bitcoin uh party and that bitcoin party somehow wins okay that definitely the bitcoin was definitely created by the government <laughs> oh see so of course as, of course of course jose with his contrarian attitude Constantly. I've made videos if on some, that. Dude. If something I, if something goes the direction that you might otherwise want it to go, it's because the government had to go that way to only hurt you yeah. more. Dude, do you do you ever watch history, bro? Do you ever? Oh, read I understand history? that the government can take advantage of any given situation, but it's they don't necessarily the they don't necessarily win always. They just adapt and survive, much like you, much like me. You have to right, adapt and, and weave, survive. Bob and weave. <laughs> Bob and weave up and down. Anyways, I am so disappointed in Nashville. I am super disappointed. I mean, this is going to be lame, dude. I don't even want to drive the 12 hours so down there, bro. It sucked all the energy out of me, bro. <laughs> yeah. And that's, would... how, that's how bad Nashville is, bro. Yeah, really. Andrew Yang has announced a new political party called the Forward Party. When asked right. about Bitcoin, 
Okay. He said he was a big proponent. Oh, this is a big, this is a big nothing burger. Hey, by the way, he was just asked about it. Now Bitcoin Magazine is making a big deal. Oh, look at this! We got a political party, guys. Everybody, 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 back here. Bitcoin party. Yeah, it's like he's like, I'm a big proponent of it. <laughs> I own a few of them. In um, fact, you know what he's gonna say? He's gonna say, uh, oh, "What we're gonna do is that we're gonna give UBI in Bitcoin." <laughs> And then be like, oh no, we can't. True. So we're gonna do Dogecoin instead. I wonder if he's a. If you he, imagine? Wait, he wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Andrew Yang, modern monetary theory. Okay, so if he's also for this, he's a complete shapeshifter. One second. No, he's uh, he's he's been talking about this shit for a while. He's he's the guy that brought up UBI. He's the first politician to bring up universal As basic if income. Jose, please. Yeah, this is all orchestrated, bro. I know. This is all a show. No, let's just, no, but I'm saying modern monetary theory is the theory that we can print to infinity. Listen, man, Yang, exactly. That's which right. Is, Yang, which, yeah, you're is, saying, which is Yang, also would be necessary almost for some of his programs. But then listen, additionally Yang is a component is a proponent of Bitcoin. Go ahead. Yang is bringing the Fed coin. Mark my words. Yang is going to bring uh, Fed coin. And you know how he's going to sell it to the people? Very easy. <laughs> Like, hey, you guys want universal basic income? Great. Sign up for this and I'll send you some Fed coin. Okay. I'll keep a lookout for it. How much you want to bet? I don't know. We can bet right now. We can bet right now. Want to okay, bet? let's see. We already got a 55K bet going. Regrettably, the current situation has caused some, including Nancy Pelosi, to flirt again with the universal basic income see? and oh. modern monetary theory. UBI is a government-funded stipend for all, regardless of means. Read it loud so we can all hear. Uh, UBI is a government-funded stipend for all, regardless of means. Monet modern monetary theory involves a central bank printing unlimited supplies of money to lend to the government to pay for everything, including UBI, without taxes and ignoring the possibility of default. Sounds <laughs> enticing. Yet neither can... Yet neither can alter... Uh, immutable economic truths. For starters, creating more of anything cheapens its value. You might trade a rare baseball card for a car. Not so if an additional dozen cards suddenly flood the market. The, sample, uh, the same applies to dollars. Circulating trillions of additional dollars leads to the loss of purchasing power. UBI does not magically create wealth for your newfound dollars. Just lose their value. MMT proponents believe that the Federal Reserve could print even more money and furnish it to the government, which would then provide wage increases, complementary housing, and free education to people. Man, these people are real dumbasses, aren't they? They, they <laughs> really are, dude. I mean, I cannot believe just it. Print them, just print them into oblivion. You can just who, do you, who do they think is going to do anything? Like, okay, so something breaks in the house. Why would anybody go and work is it for the fear of not being put in jail, like in Cuba? Or, I mean, is that what we're talking about? Like, how, why yes. would anybody go and yes. why would, yes. any, yeah. Otherwise, why would anybody come and fix your faucet when it breaks? Oh, you're going to pay me? What are you going to pay me? Well, yeah, you know, maybe whatever the normal going rate is. Okay, well, why would I do that? This is ridiculous. Okay. Despite the Fed, okay, complimentary housing and free education to the people. They assert that inflation has remained minimal despite the Fed contriving trillions of dollars in recent decades. But while wage and price inflation have not manifested, uh, asset inflation has. That is true. Although salaries and the cost of things like clothing and toys have remained static due, due to the uh, demography and globalization, the price of assets, home, stocks, college degrees, Okay, a college degree is an asset. Questionable right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, the college degree is an asset. Huh? Yeah, I, that is not an asset. Not, you I mean, about that? Yeah. So I can declare that as an asset? Can I go sell my asset? Get the fuck out of here. Isn't Get it an asset? Well, I mean, I guess it's something that... In produces... fact, hold on. I gotta... I gotta... Oh, yeah, it's pretty bad. I can't wait to pass my college degree down to my kids. That's right. I can't wait to pass this fucking humanities degree down, right? Uh, you know, sell at the pawn shop. <laughs> it's like that, like, I mean, one of these is not like the other. And if you get it wrong, you're really stupid. <laughs> Homes, stocks, college degrees. Oh, yeah, all those are assets. Oh, yeah. Wink, wink. 
<laughs> Wealth disparity accompanies more money printing. Okay, the UBI and the MMT would make this worse. But where is Andrew Yang's position? Because that's super interesting if he likes Bitcoin, but yet is also a fan of MMT. Oh, he is. He's a big fan of fucking universal basic income. He's the one that brought but it he's, up originally. No, no, no. But he, he does have... Um, he does have, what do you call it, like systems of garnering money to, to pay for the UBI. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. Print it. Well, he says. No, 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 it's not printed. It's like a, uh-huh, uh-huh. He, he would like to actually, mm-hmm. he would like to implement, like one of them was. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Taxes? Pay, yeah, no, it's like, a, but it's not uh-huh. like, it's not income tax. It's like purchasing tax. So in other words. <laughs> He wants you yeah, to go. So, uh, so they're gonna raise the income. So he's gonna raise uh, the which we call it the the fucking uh, damn it. What, oh, the regular tax, the taxi for purchasing shit. What the fuck is it called? The sales tax. Yeah, but he's gonna do it in a way that he like. Here's how we and you know he's he's a smart no, guy. It makes man. sense. What are you talking about? Oh, he's uh, gonna you know. Excuse uh, me, Jose. Let me complete the <laughs> sentence here. He's going so like for example. He doesn't like how Amazon is such a big business and it's ruining small business in America. So he would, he says on amazon.com, there would be a tax on certain types of products to encourage people to go to local stores. He also would tax any. Yeah, but you know what's going to happen, right? People are not going to go. I'm not a fan of his. I'm just telling you what he's like. He does. He, I don't know if it's necessarily cut and dry that he's a UBI. I I don't know if it's a cut and dry that he's a fan of MMT. Because he did come up with a couple of different methods to try to pay for it. But you're right, it's probably not enough, obviously. I mean, clearly it's not enough. In fact, obviously it's not enough. But he is a, but he, again, he is a fan. I mean. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. It's just weird that there's not a lot of, I mean, Andrew Yang <laughs> ran for president, was on the debate stage, and he never discussed modern monetary theory enough. They never asked this guy and wrote oh, articles yeah, on this guy. They don't, want to, guy. They don't they, want to talk about that exactly. shit. Exactly. They never talked about the guy who was presenting a UBI for all. He was like in the final five people. He didn't drop for a while. He was in it through till Super Tuesday. And Andrew Yang's opinion on MMT never was really wrote, written about. Yeah. Wow. Cold, cold, cold simulator on D Live blew a kiss at you. Oh, I'll take that kiss. Thank you. Cuckold. Cold simulator. Thank you. And sure. Mr. Lodak goes, re Bruh. Yeah, so I mean, Andrew Yang is going to be the guy who's going to be bringing not just UBI. Yeah, whatever. You Bitcoin. conspiracy. You, yeah, the you, you, you conspiracy theorist. Listen, listen. The, Andrew Yang, he, you know, he's like the, the Chinese guy on YouTube. They love him. You know, everybody loves him. So he's bringing the Fed coin. Come on. It's going to be great. You know, people are going to love it. They're going to be like, oh, wow, this is great. This gets Andrew so awesome. Yang's great. presidential campaign. Remember, Obama, Obama gave us free health care. Andrew Yang's presidential campaign slogan should be stop Asian hate. <laughs> That's right. If you don't vote for Andrew Yang, you're racist. No, yeah, yeah, basically he'll he'll fucking say, hey, look, I'm Asian. I know numbers. Look at this. Be, hey, look, and we're going to be able to pay for this, so you don't got to worry about it. So Dow futures gonna, are right. soaring. Right. He's Asian, and he knows math. Dow futures are soaring. Yeah, because they know he's Asian, and he knows math, and that's it. That's, that's it. That's all people want to see. So. All right, gentlemen. You don't think so? You don't agree? Hansen reads my comments selectively. Read. Possibly true. No, I, I try to read all the comments. Oh, we're going to read all his texts now. Read them all. Go. Oh. Um, let's see. Oh, every single one. Only Lodex. Yeah. Well, From I'm seeing a list of them here. Excel. Is- no, no, no. Read the chat. I posted it anyways. Math. Just print a trillion dollar coin. Oh, yeah. I, I heard about that. That's. Funny. That's right. Yeah, I hate to him. I hate to break it to you, but if you have ever stacked a coin, you already are in a UBI. Hey, really? I don't know about that. Take hex for example. You just bought a fifteen year bond. Yeah, but the bond doesn't the bond only pay you out. You guys once? want me to show you an idea? Show you the idea on Discord. So hex 
is uh, Mr. Ludic also says this is more important. Bitcoin is currently in a bull pull flag formation. Yes. A bull pull bull. I, I yeah. see two bulls and I'm all <laughs> I'm bulging from the G <laughs> Pull my bull. Bull pull bull flag. I mean everything's bulging over here. <laughs> With that, uh Mr. Lodek says nope. Uh, he doesn't add anything. Opie says, X pays 40% on a 15-year bond. 15 years for 40%? Get the fuck out of here. The dollar will gain. I mean, like, the dollar's going to inflate. That doesn't even keep up with inflation, honestly. The percentage of inflation is 25 or 2% a year. That means in 10 years, no, in 20 years, their, their target for inflation. The Federal Reserve talks about their targeted inflation, and they say 2%. So that's 20% every 10 years or 40% every 20 years. Hex pays you 40% in 15 years. They're beating the Fed's target inflation by just five years. So it's a scam. I don't know if it's a scam. I'm just telling you, like, I guess. No, I mean, basically it's, it's running on inflation. It's betting on inflation. No, I know it's not a scam. I know, but it's a, uh, it is a scam, but it's, um, they are, it's basically running on, um, the hopes that inflation is going to be continuing at the same pace or higher. Well, it, it will. <clears throat> oh, I, for sure. A hundred percent. I agree. But still, I mean, like, a, but, then, but that means that can go for any coin. And then, you know and I mean? then, um, Richard yeah. Hart's Richard Hart's bet is that you'll commit to more time than you're really willing to serve on that, you know, because he's basically set up 401ks for everybody. I hate to say that, but if you're going to get punished when you pull your money out early. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, but the same thing with Bitcoin or whatever other coin. I mean, no. honestly. No? What do you mean? Like, you know, he'll, he'll literally take, he'll like, he'll take a cut away from you. He'll give you less back. Yeah. If you pull okay. your hex out, but like if you stake it for five years and then you say in like a year, you say, you know what? I need my money. You're like, all right, but you're going to be punished. Okay, cool. <laughs> Not very cool. <clears throat> well, I mean, whatever, bro. Every coin is different. You don't have to. You That's know, right. Every like coin it. is different. That's correct. I mean, yeah, cool, cool like that it. it's designed. Yeah. It's not for everybody. Mr. Lodek says, no. I guess, I don't know. Are you saying that what I'm talking about with Hex is wrong? Because I really don't believe it is. But if I am, send me a link and we'll talk about it next week just to correct the record real quick. We're not going to spend too much time on Hex, but we would correct the record if we're wrong on it. But I don't think anything I've said is wrong. But you can send me an article and I will read it. And if I feel like, hey, yep, I misspoke, I'll correct it. You'll, uh, you'll issue a correction. Yeah, because, you know... <laughs> <laughs> If you haven't heard us give a correction yet, that means everything we've set up to this point and through all the shows that you listen to has been 100% accurate and we've never had to disavow or correct anything in the past. So we got 100%. We're batting 1,000 over here. We fact-checked the fact-checkers, bro. <laughs> Mr. Lodek says, Hex stakers take a loss for pulling out early, plus gas fees get wrecked. Then stakers get percent off of it. Yeah, so there's a exchange happening when you you the stakers are the holders. You can stake. You don't have to, but you you can stake your coins, and you're basically just locking in. You're locking it in. You're stable. What you're doing is you're, you know how with all these cryptos, Dogecoin pops up to seventy five percent. Imagine if there was a ton of stakers that sat there at like fifty cents. We probably would have never had the opportunity to drop down to as low as 16 cents, I think is how far we went. We dropped down slowly to 16. It'd be like people at 50 cents would have been like, wow, I'm going to stake this. And, and now suddenly they're not willing to, able to sell. So it just helps stabilize the price. It's a stable thing. It's a stable increase, stable increase, stable increase. And if you pull it out early, you better believe people are getting punished. Otherwise, <laughs> why wouldn't you pull it out early? <laughs> well, you don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> it's just like when you're on only. It's just like when you're on OnlyFans and you made a con. You know, you, you nutted in her just for the content. And why yeah, wouldn't no, you? No, no, why you wouldn't gotta, you pull it out early? Yeah, you get a fucking jizz in her tits, bro. Always <laughs> or on her face. Okay. I'm glad we talked about hex so we could finish with some of the finish strong some back shots and stuff. 
move it on. Let's do it. Moving it along. Along ye. All right, fellas. That's it. We moved along. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Stay tuned until um, I don't know what night it'll be, but we'll be live in Nashville Monday or Tuesday night. It won't be Tuesday. Well, you know what? We're going to be back on Tuesday and Thursday, as always. So we'll be back next week. Oh, well, yeah, you're not Tuesday because you're going to be on your fucking uh, your show. Um, well, we can be Monday or Wednesday. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's right. Turn notifications on. We appreciate every single one of you guys. Seriously, you guys are the greatest, um, smartest, and just honestly good-looking people on the internet. So keep oh, that up. 100%. I mean, you guys are the best. And we are not blowing smoke up your ass. We really, <laughs> really think that you guys... That's right. Yeah, We're serious about this. Can't you tell? Um, Just give me one second here. Uno segundo, por favor. There's one moment for me to find something to play on our way out. But other than that, boys... You guys all did great. Yes. How great? You guys were fucking great. <laughs> Incredible. All right. Are we out? Are we done? We're uh, almost, almost, almost. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Come on, yeah, man. It's a weekend. Come bro. on. Rapido, 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 God, I've tried so hard. I just belong to some other age, I guess. You know, humans don't communicate anymore, or they, they gibber and jabber about stuff that doesn't matter, and then they send a text message and never communicate with anybody about anything of substance. It's spiritual death. And then I just come to the realization out of trillions of worlds, we're going to probably die. And everything we did as a species and all of our beauty and all of our goodness will just fail. And we're going to go down the tubes because a bunch of inbred child molesters in Hollywood had some psychotic dream that they wanted to kill everybody. You know, humanity just has to fall. It has civilization has to fall. It just has to go down. And you know it's going to go down, too. And I just have been a fool trying to prop it up. It's just at a certain point, you're like, God Almighty, this is what death looks like. This is what laziness looks like. censorship going on. We have them bragging about it. We have them dead to rights. No one will attack. No one wants to do it. Never took action when all the tools were right there in our hands because we weren't meant to. We couldn't do it. We didn't want it. 